Welcome to Police Quest 3, The Kindred. It says the kin. There we go. The Kindred. Um, I think there's a whole intro video to this one. Let's see what it let's see what it does. Oh. Executive. Okay, let's not watch it. I thought it'd be something else, but we don't want to watch the credits, so we'll skip it. Um, in this one, Police Quest 3, you play as the same guy, Sonny Bonds, um, he's now, I think he's a sergeant, if I remember correctly, um, in the Lytton Police Department, he's married to, oops, um, Marie, or Marie, Mary, Marie, whatever her name is. Um, this one I actually played a lot, I really like this, uh, this game, but it's been probably, god. 12 years, 10 years, something like that since I played it. Nah, it's been more than that. Um, but at the time, this game, the graphics were incredible, so... When it first came out, I mean. This was back in... When did this game come out? I'll have to look it up. You take some batteries from the box. Yeah, I don't remember what to do, just because I've played it so many times. You need the flares as well. Um, it's not... Um, I got... Uh, text... Game anymore. It's actually like point and click. Um, we'll go in the locker room. Oh, actually, we'll go in the women's locker room. See what happens when I do that. Just to show everyone. Okay, went to oh! women's. Yep, someone screamed, got slapped. We, with that lady, ought to be in the professional boxing. Guess you went in the wrong, went in the wrong time. You men are all like, only one thing on your minds. I missed it. Hopefully the text isn't like that, um, throughout the game. Okay, so I have the manual open. It's an E manual. I think that's our locker. Just so I know the combo to the... Uh, okay, now what's my combination? Oh yeah, I wrote it down on the inside cover of my police manual. Yeah, so it's a uh, seven... Seven... Six. There it is. We'll grab our flashlight, our ticket book, our night and our nightstick. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we'll close it. So we can, there we go, now we can leave. And then we'll go back up to the second floor. I, you know, I'm really not sure how you're supposed to play this game without following the walkthrough. I mean, there's so many things that there are zero cues as to what to do. So if you've never played it before and you've never followed a guide, you'll have no idea. So I'll try to follow it without using the guide, just going off memory, but we'll see. Uh, I think we go in this office, that's the captain's room or something. I don't know, we'll find out, we'll go exploring. Yep, this is our desk. We'll go ahead and sit down. Um, I think we searched this. There's a... You remove the form from the basket. It's a departmental dis disciplinary action form with a note attached. The note from Lieutenant reads... From the Lieutenant reads... Bonds, please interview Officer Pat Morales regarding a complaint. The complaint alleges that officer... That the officer used profanity and verbally abused him during the issuing of a citation. Determine disciplinary action. If any, based on your interview, leave this form on my desk when you're done. Cool. Um, what's that right there? Oh. Oh. No. Nope. Okay. We look in the drawer. Nope. Okay. Uh, I guess we go out here and see what's out here. Okay. So we can we can go in here and see what's in here. I can't. I honestly can't remember. I think we need to go to the briefing room. I'm not sure if this is it. This is not it. We can see who this is, though. Sergeant Bonds, good to see you. Sorry I can't talk. Got an internal affairs meeting, and I have to finish writing this report. All right. Well, good luck with your report. I also have, um, let's see. Oh, we can't. I want to talk. I want to look at the map. Okay, the graph on the wall charts homicides for the past three years. Like inflation, the crime rate rises steadily. Okay, that's not it. I thought it was a map of Lytton City. I do have that on my second monitor here, so I can see what's going on. I'll go ahead and read the bulletin board. The bulletin board is where people post articles of interest, personal ads, and Chinese restaurant business cards. Cool. All right. I think the briefing room must be on the other side here. Uh, yeah, let's go in. Oh, no. Okay, let's... Let's go in there. There we go. Come on. 
Okay, then I think this is Officer Morales here. She's the female. Officer Joe Banks responds after being interrupted from his report writing. Gee, Sarge, I'd really like to finish this report. Yeah, so we did. We are promoted to sergeant. So, uh, they're referring to the academy. Carl says, "Welcome back from the Palace of Pain." Talk to this guy. He's got gray hair. Can we get on with the briefing, Sarge? I got a date with the coffee shop. All right, let's talk to Morales. Yeah, we need to do that. Schedule a an interview with her. Morales, I need to have a word with you in my office after this afternoon's briefing. Okay, so what did I do this time? Wait, don't tell me. Another complaint from some moron who thinks he was the victim of uh, police brutality. Good guess, Morales. Um, I think we go over here. Let's pick up yep, the clipboard. You begin the briefing. Good afternoon, people. I will be filling in for Sergeant Jocko while he's on vacation. You advise the afternoon shift of the procedural information and announcements listed on the clipboard and close by saying, have a safe shift and think about making right-hand approaches on your car stops. Something to remember. Always approach from the right. You going to get out there and uh, do something, guy, or are you just going to sit there? Let's see what's on this bulletin board. The message board is where the daily briefing notes are posted. Okay. Can I do no chalk? Can I do anything else? No. All right, so let's go back out. I think Morales is going to be waiting for us in our office. So we should go talk to her. It's in here, actually. The vice door is locked. I think this is the uh, psychiatrist. Department psychiatrist. Yep. All right, well, he or she, I can't remember if it's a guy or a girl. They're not in, so we'll leave. Okay, go back to our office and see Morales. Oh, my guy got huge right there. Like, hit his head on the ceiling. Oh, Officer Morales. All right, let's see what she has to say for herself. You have a serious talk with Morales. Uh, I have a complaint here alleging that you verbally abu that you were ver verbally abusive to one of the violators you stopped. The complaint states that you yelled, screamed, and used profanity. So what do you want from me? The guy was a jerk. Uh, he'd have liked to do more than file a complaint, if you know what I mean. Continuing, continuing the interview, you ask, All right, why don't you tell me what happened? I pulled the guy over, right? He's going 75, maybe 80 in a 50 mile zone. Oops, crap. I clicked at the wrong time. Uh, I missed it again. You ask Officer Morales directly. Did you raise your voice and use profanity with the man or not? Look, you try being a woman cop for just one day and then tell me how to do my job. Okay. Truthfully, I don't remember what the hell I said, but whatever it was, I had damn good reason. Okay, Morales, that's it for now. Get back on duty and see if you can keep the civil in civil servant. Hey, yo. Sir, sleh. sure, Sarge, whatever you say. Sure, Sarge. That's that's rough to say. You think about what you've learned regarding the civilian complaint. Um, unfounded. You find the complaint unfounded. No, exonerated. Believing the complainant, you exonerate the officer. Sustained. Based on the interview, you conclude that disciplinary action is necessary. You sustain the complaint against her. Undetermined. Feeling undecided. I'm I'm pretty sure that it's sustained. Um, it's been a long time, but she's definitely hot headed. So we'll sustain it. Where is he going? Oh, you leave the complaint on the lieutenant's desk. Okay, what's in there? There's something else in there, it looks like. You remove a requisition form for a computer access card from the basket. Um, that's right. Who do I turn that in with? Um, oh yeah. I think I go up stairs to dispatch and there's like an IT guy I think well either way we'll go up and check out dispatch it's good music okay open 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 third floor please there we go this guy um let's see I think this is, I think this is the form, a computer ID, yeah. So we'll take that, we'll give it to this guy. You hand the requisition form to Mike, the head technician. 
Hey, no problem. You've got the new Mark V model, don't you? What a beaut. It goes from 0 to 30 megahertz in 3.5 seconds. And it has a 4 megabyte memory capacity, XGA graphics, and a 5 millisecond network access time. I wait for Mike to shut up, but like a streak of bad luck, he keeps going. Just don't spill coffee on it, man. You should have seen what I had to go through when the chief dropped ice cream all over his. Yuck. That's probably referring to the captain in Police Quest 2. He's now uh, chief, it appears. Mike logs your new card and places it on his desk. Um, I know that's a little hard for you cop types to handle, but you'll figure it out. Okay. It's real simple, man. Just boot up your machine and stick in your card. Uh, okay. I guess we pick it up. Mike mumbles to himself. I'm getting sick and tired of cops who don't return things. You hear Mike tell the dispatcher, get on the radio and tell that dimwit Banks to get that tracking device back to me. All right, can we go? Are we f no. Dispatch responds, Officer Banks says that he needs the tracker for three more days. Mike hangs up in disgust. All right, back downstairs. Level two. Okay, I think we go mess around on our computer, something like that. Boom, boom. All right, <clears throat> sit down. And do we use our computer? I don't. I don't know if we do. Something's supposed to happen. I'm ninety nine percent sure. Well, we can mess around on it, I guess. Although I don't, I really don't think this is the, the correct time to do it. Okay, not there. You insert your computer access card. Personnel. All right, no, I'm definitely not supposed to be in here right now. City map. Not labeled or anything. Cool. Plot crimes. Check pattern. Erase. Quit. I remember at some point in the game you have to plot crimes on here so it makes a pentagram. And when I was like 10 years old playing this, I didn't know what a pentagram was. And it took me days and days and days to figure it out. Oh, that was before there was... Maybe there was Google. I don't know. There wasn't Google back then when I was 10. So I don't even know what I was using to try to figure it out. But it took me forever. And I think I had to ask my, my dad for help. Anyway. Um, I, I think... It's a garbage can. We wait for the phone... I'm like 99%. Let's try. Maybe we call dispatch. If you don't have a reason to call, don't. Okay, I'm I apologize. Uh let's go. Look at our what is that? Is that Marie? Uh some of the fine art displayed here. Okay, no. What's this? This is the sergeant's office. Yep. The bulletin board here. In here has information so old there's a missing person bulletin about Jimmy Hoffa. Alright. File drawers. <laughs> no. Okay, maybe we don't. Maybe we, we, I don't know. Let's go exploring. Did I? There we go. <laughs> Where did he walk off to? The corner of the room. Um. Let's see if we can go talk to this guy. See if he's still busy. Yeah, okay. Same as last time. Alright, we'll go back outside. Sorry to bug you again. I think this is the PA system where we're told to call dispatch or something like this. The station's public address system. Yeah. Um. Can we... We walk over there? No. All right, we'll walk around the long way. Oh, what? Where? What is happening? Uh, there's no PA over here. All right, we'll go back. I'm. <laughs> nope. Let's go all the way back. All right, what is happening? There we go. You're really not going to let us leave? Oh, we can. 
All right, back to the office. Well, I guess we just hang out until we get get a call. Uh, sit, I guess. Maybe we can play with our... No, I just want to... All right, didn't want to do that. I want to try to open the desk drawer. Your desk is neat and orderly, probably because you don't spend a lot of time here. All right, any day now would be great to uh, get that call. Uh, maybe I will have to go look at the uh, guide. <laughs> oh man, and see. We didn't make it very far. Hey, finally, I've been sitting here for about 10 minutes. Uh, Sunny Bonds, please call dispatch at once. Wow, I'm not sure why that took so long. I literally did nothing but walk around and then I stood in that same spot and didn't move for about five minutes while I played on my phone. So, cool. Alright, dispatch. Dispatch, Sunny, we need you to drive out to Aspen Falls to respond to a call. All other units are occupied. Oh, okay. Oh, well, it's getting uh, stuffy in here. T time to roll. All right. Um. All right, we better save our game. Again, it's like the other police quests. Um, there's zero forgiveness when you make a mistake. And there's not a lot of, there's nothing inherently that tells you what you need to do in certain situations. So. All right, G level, my man, let's go. G. All right, let's open the trunk, see what's in there. A two-door police car. Um, okay, crime kit. You have no use for the flares right now. Can I put the f these flares in there? Your flare box is already full. Okay, so maybe I didn't need flares? I thought I did. Alright, driving in this game is ridiculous, if I remember correctly. It's like this weird click to accelerate, click to decelerate, and then turn. Alright, let's see. We got the map up. Oh god. Oh, how do I slow down? Slow down! Where's the... Where? Where? Okay. No, 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 no. Is it this? Oh, break. There we go. Whew. Okay. So, I am... Let me turn the audio down, actually. Just a little. Okay. Um, southbound on 6th Street, and I crossed over, what, Lily, I think it was? So I'm... I think I'm headed in the right direction. 4,000... or 400 South is the, the last road, so we'll go... We're going 15 miles an hour, you can see the speed on... or the speed over here. This is how we turn on our lights. Poppy, okay, uh, river is actually where we're going to turn left, and if we're going too fast while we turn, we crash. Okay, stop ahead. Where's the stop? Uh oh Stop, okay, and then, um, we need to go left. Okay, eastbound on river. And we can go a little faster. All right, 7th, so 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, and then walls. Or no, 500. I can't, I can't tell. This map, the map I'm looking at is a, uh, like a scan of the, the game manual, and there's staple holes in the middle. So, 9th, okay, I think it's, no. T we should pass 10th, and then after 10th, whatever the next road is. All right, let's see what it says. Walls. Um, I can go straight? Oh, I can go around it, maybe. Let's see if I stop here, can I get out? There's no reason to get out here. Okay, how do I get to... Great. Aspen Mills. I think a sign pops up, maybe, and tells you that you're there. Okay, here we go. Stop, 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 stop. Let's get out. 
There we go. Sweet. All right, go ahead and uh, save. It's so stressful driving. All right, save game two. Oh, officer, thank God. You've got to stop that man. He's a raving lunatic. Um, what man? Just what seems to be the problem, ma'am. There's a madman over there. Why, why, he's almost butt naked. Ranting and raving about aliens from outer space. He's going to hurt someone. Calm down, ma'am. I'll take care of it. Okay, let's go... Find this guy. Over here. Yep. Okay. All right. Jeez. Let's go talk to him. You there. Leave this place. I've got to secure it before the Bathonians come. Okay. Clear out. Get away. The mothership approaches. Um... You there, leave this place. I've got to... Yeah, you already said that. Um, this is sketchy, but we'll get closer. Oh. You, don't try and stop me. You'll be va vaporized if you interfere. Hey, what are you doing? That's my badge. And he threw our badge in the water. Uh, the Bathonians scoff at your badge, lawman. The mothership will squash you like something. You can't believe this guy. Deranged men can be real, can be real slippery. Uh, I'm warning you. If you don't leave, I'm just gonna have to hurt you. This area must be evacuated. Fortunately, you're carrying a spare shield. You put it on. All right, I have my nightstick ready. I'm pretty sure I have to use that. And I think I search his clothes to find something. You search the deranged man's clothes, hoping uh, for something to lure him. Something which will lure him out of the water. You find a set of keys and a driver's license. Hey, fella. I think I've got something of yours. Leave those keys alone, foolish mortal. All right. So now... I think maybe we walk back here. Um... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So these are his keys. We throw them in the water. Calling on your old softball arm, which is totally not something a cop should do, but I do remember that from the last time I played it. Uh, calling on your softball arm, you haul back and throw the keys as far as you can into the river. Splash. There, now your keys and my badge are neighbors. I'll kill you for that, you flat-headed, flat-footed ignoramus. Alright, let's get our nightstick out. Let me do it, let me do it, let me do it, let me do it. Oh... Okay. What? Oh, okay. It's things like that that drive me crazy when it comes to these old games. All right, so we'll restore our saved game. Okay, yep, she's talking. He's a raven lunatic. We have to do this again. All right, yada, yada, yada. We've already read all this. We've seen it. Okay, let's get over... Oh. Over there. <laughs> Come on. There we go. All right. You there, leave this place. You've got to secure it. Okay, I've got it. Yeah, all the same nonsense. Okay. That's right, we need to walk close to him. All right. Okay, we'll grab his keys and then we'll save it after we get him. All right, save. Save game three. And then, can we arm ourselves? Not yet. Can't subdue him from here. Okay, let's throw him. Nope, we can't access that. Okay, now it looks like your keys and my badger neighbors. I'll kill you for that. There we go. Now let's get this out. Nope, on him. Ah, there we go. Now we're ready. That's how you do it. And smack. 
Oof. You managing to subdue the deranged man with the nightstick. You check for injuries and see that he's more something than something. All right, let's go ahead and cuff him. You cuff the perpetrator wise down, ensuring that something. I c couldn't read it. Um, am I going to transport him in that car with just two doors? Can I pat him down or so anything like that? Searching a wet, nearly naked man like this is particularly unpleasant. Nevertheless, you're glad you did when you discover a knife concealed in his briefs. Okay, that, yep, he'll kill you uh, when you take him to jail and take his cuff off, cuffs off if you don't do that. So let's go ahead and get him in. And then, um, you make sure, oh, I thought it said you need to make sure he's belted in. I don't know how to do that. Now I need to drive back to the station and book him into jail. So, uh, turn it on. Westbound on river. So river headed westbound. So we're headed back towards the jail. We need to go right on, hold on, let's stop. Let's see. Um... I think 6th, Parkway, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, okay. Yeah, right on 6th, 6th Street. Uh, let's go ahead and save, just in case. Okay, 10th, go a little faster. 9th. This is some great music. Eight. Seventh. Um, we have to slow down before we turn to, otherwise the car will careen off the road and we'll crash and die. Okay, sixth. So we'll slow down. Oh, 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 God, just barely made it. All right, now let me stop in the middle of the road because that's how you do it. Um, looks like we... As soon as we cross rows, uh, the gas station should be uh, right there. Can't remember if we need to turn into it or if we just stop. But we'll try both. Lily. Alright, rows should be coming up. Okay, rows. Okay, we crossed over. Oh, yep, we do turn right. Okay, or left, I mean. And turn in there. Ah, uh, we made it. Yeah, I remember playing this as a kid. But man, the driving was so difficult. I would drive around for hours trying to get to places. Alright, let's get him out. I'll open up uh, the lockers here. And then we'll put our... Gun in there. You put your gun in the locker, lock the door, and take the key. Alright, nope. Alright, crazy guy, follow us. Oh, come on, come on this way. Alright, I think he's, yeah, he'll go stand over there and we'll go talk to this guy. Finish up and hand him over, Bonds. Okay, take the knife. Put the suspect's knife into the drawer. Um, you mean to tell me you finished that, you fished that out of that guy's shorts? You've got some guts, Bonds. Um, there's paperwork that I need to fill out. Gas chromatograph. This machine measures the blood alcohol content of breath samples. No, um, let's get this prisoner booked. Okay. Notebook. Oh, his license, too. No? Oh, yeah. You put the suspect's license into the drawer. Is that it? Uh, I'm about ready for a break, Bonds. Let's hurry up and get this guy behind bars so I can eat my sandwich. Okay, I need to fill out paperwork. Um... Shoot. Wait, you don't need any paper towel. Oh, paper towels. Where is it? Where is it? Do I have anything? What else do I have in here? Um, 
No, no. Do I need to... Um... Take his cuffs off? You already searched him. Oh, okay. So what are you booking this fine upstanding citizen for? Okay, so I have a violation code here. And uh, 05150 is for not being in control of bodily functions. So I, I'm pretty sure that's what this guy... It's basically being crazy. I looked it up. So it's 05150. Again, I don't without a without a uh, game manual that that would be impossible. So, okay, he's booked. Um, okay, don't forget the cuff. Sorry, say hey, Bonds. Officer Malice is requesting a supervisor for your refusal to sign. She's waiting on the freeway near the Seventh Avenue ramp. Okay, let's get her cuffs. And then leave. Let's get our weapon from this locker here. It's locked. Yeah, it's locked. Okay, take your gun. Close the locker. Let's walk over here, get in the car, and then we'll save. Don't start driving. Oh, you're going to start driving. There we go. All right. The, on the freeway, god, near 7th, so I'm heading southbound on 6th, so I need to go left on the next street and then make another left, I think, according to the map. Yeah, eastbound on Rose. Yep, and then we'll make a left on to 7th, I think. Yep. And then we should be able to get on the freeway somewhere up here. I think once we cross over... What was it, Peach? Okay, there's Peach. Yep, next right. Okay, there it is. Uh, up ahead you see a black and white pulled off the freeway along with the detained vehicle. You slow down and pull to the side. Okay, let's save again. From the right side only. We go talk to Morales. Okay, boss man, you handle it. Um, what is the viol Why is the violator refusing to sign the ticket? Uh, this policy about calling a supervisor for failure to sign sucks. Oh, I skipped it. Crap. No, you're no, you're not. You're going to stand right here until I have a chance. She must have said something she wasn't supposed to. So we'll walk over here. Um, let's talk to her. I guess. Don't, no, 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 don't walk out there. Okay, looking at the young lady, you see that she's pregnant and ne nearly full term. You introduce yourself to the woman and say, uh, your, signature, uh, your signature on the citation is not an admission of guilt, ma'am. Oh, I don't care, you think I'm afraid to sign a stupid ticket? If it was a check for $10,000, I wouldn't sign it for that witch over there. I can't believe the LPD would allow someone like her to patrol our streets. What a waste of our tax money. She's rude, abusive, and insulting. I refuse to sign a ticket for anybody who calls me a fat girl. <laughs> uh, would you please reconsider and sign the citation? Hell no. Take me to jail. Mm -hmm. Um, what should I do with this young lady, you think? Um... Should we go back and talk to Morales? Uh, 
All right, Morales, the violator said you were abusive and rude. Why don't I have a hard time believing that? Come on. Look, Sarge, it's obvious the lady's hysterical. She'd pop off if you, if you looked at her funny. She's been belligerent and hostile ever since I stopped her. She's begging for a night in jail. She's probably not going to go to jail. She's pregnant. So. So, you, so what are you going to do, boss man? Um, we'll get her signature. We're not going to incarcerate her. Jeez. Wisely and correctly. Haha, <laughs> you right. Refusal to sign. Jeez, where'd you get your training? Charm school? Just let her walk all over you. Why don't you? All right, Morales. I think we're done here. All right, get back on patrol. Uh, let's go ahead and save. Get in the car. And then I think we just keep patrolling the highway, if I'm if I remember correctly. Do 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 do. Eastbound on the 41. Okay, so we'll keep going. 55 is the speed limit. Oh, that's right. Change lanes, change lanes. Cool. Nope, we're not getting off. We'll keep going. Boom, boom. I think end freeway, we just turn around and head back. Okay, since you have reached the end of your jurisdiction, you turn around and head in the other direction. Yeah. So now we're headed westbound. It's like southwest. We were going northeast. Uh, okay, I have an extra. Oh, there it is. Let's catch up to that guy. How fast is that guy going? Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. The driver, the driver of the vehicle sees your lights and finally begins to pull over. I was afraid we were going to ram into him. All right, 17, 18. It's important to, remember, to look at the time, if I remember correctly. Uh-oh. Oh. Wait, what? The man has something in his hand that you cannot, I cannot identify. Um... Oh, you can't pull your gun here? No. Nope. I don't think I was supposed to do that. But he was coming at me. Well, what the f- Oh. The man you killed was an alleged- an allied agent reaching for his badge to ID himself. Your trigger finger gets you five years in jail. Well, what the f- Why would he- that's not what he would do on a traffic stop. That's ridiculous. Alright. Damn it, now we have to do that whole thing over again. Alright, back in the car, let's go. Now I know. But that seems a little ridiculous. <laughs> I guess this game is one of those games where you have to fail a few times to, to get it right. The speed limit is 55. Oh, hey, look at that. It tells us where we are. Oh, cool. Okay, so there's the map. It doesn't have street names or anything like that, but kind of gives you an idea of what the city of Linton looks like. It's a odd shape, or it's a weird... Rectangle. Yep. Turn around. Head back. We should see that car speeding by us again. Okay. There we go. Catch up to him. Pull him over. 90. This guy's flying. Alright. Tease us. He's gonna pull over. Okay, there's a large man getting out of the car to meet. Uh, yeah, he pulls something out. You can't tell what it is. Like, what What would you expect? You hear the man tell you, Police officer, I was tailing a drug runner. I couldn't ID myself on the road. Damn, maybe I can still catch up. Are we kosher here? Go ahead, or go get him. Sorry if I screwed you up. Hell, I was speeding. You didn't know me from Adam. I'm out of here. Okay. Well, we screwed up uh, that DEA sting or something. All right, back on the road. I think we do the same thing. We just keep patrolling, and uh, there's another speeding car. And this one, we have to actually write a ticket. If I'm remembering things correctly, I don't remember that agent being pulling over that agent before, but then again, it was a very long time ago when I played this game last. Oh, 
Oh, I made it all the way down. Okay, we're headed back up. Wow, this guy's going really fast. There it is, caught up. Pull over to the side of the road. The driver of the vehicle sees your lights and finally begins to pull over. All right, uh, let's walk this way. Actually, no, let's, before I do anything, save that and we'll talk with him oh good lord where'd you come from you must have fell from out of the sky man because i never saw you sir i need to see your driver's license and vehicle registration please do you know why i stopped you i know i know i was speeding uh i had to do it man see i'm on my way to see a beautifully constructed female a real nubian queen okay try to get a try Try to picture it, officer. She's got all legs, have mercy. They all go all the way up. Can I help it? Okay, see, it was taking way too long to get to her house. Another 10 minutes and I would have been able to drive to all? You, gosh, I'm sure, this is hard to read. I'm sure you, you wouldn't want a man in my condition driving around causing accidents, now would you? I was just trying to get, oh, okay. No, I need your ID. No, 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 that's not what I want. Whoa, no kidding, no. What? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Let's try this again. Let's talk to this guy. All right, we can skip all the dialogue this time. He's trying to go see a girl. Okay, let's go, let's go. Uh, no, I need your ID. What are you gonna do, kick the tires? Do I have his ID? All right, so let's go ahead and what do we need to do? Um, okay, I think we use the computer in the car. Oh, I didn't see what time it was. Oh, no. Mm, crap. Um, you insert, oh, maybe it'll tell me on here. Okay, I need a Form 900. Orpheus, Hanley, enter military time. Ah, crap. Um, I don't know what time it was. <laughs> it's like 17... 50? I don't remember. That's probably not right. But the vehicle code I need is 21654, which is speeding. Is there a way to tell the time? Do I have a watch or anything like that? Maybe I can... No. The computer didn't say anything. Okay. I have a feeling that that's not going to go over well. We're probably going to lose points because I didn't write down the time. Okay, there's the ticket. I'll go ahead and hand it to him. I'm sorry, Mr. Hanley. I sympathize with you, but you're going to have to be more responsible when you're operating a moving vehicle. Gotta give me a ticket, huh? Well, that's what I get for being a hero. You're just doing your job. Am I okay to go now? You're all set. Slow it down and have a good evening. Okay, I will. Cool. All right. Same thing. I think we keep driving. We pull over another car. But this time we have to like check his, run his plate, do some. I can't remember. We'll, we'll just keep driving. Hey, I actually, yeah, turn around. I think this is another agent car. We have to look at his license plate, which I, can I 
do that? How do I do that? Uh, up ahead you see a slow car impeding traffic in the fast lane. Uh oh. No, maybe this isn't the one. Alright. Go ahead and turn our lights on. Oh. Oh, I see what's going on. He is not the slow car. That guy is. The driver of the vehicle sees your lights and finally begins to pull over. Oh no, I missed the time again. I was- oh my gosh. You've got to be kidding me. The plate reads 22776. Does it really not say the time anywhere? God damn it, how annoying. Sir, I pulled you over because you were driving too slow in the fast lane and traffic was backing up behind you. You finished by requesting his driver's license and registration. What you talking about, man? You guys always want to hassle me. Say, SA, can, uh, you can check out my ride. I just have a brand new Smogolia device. Just don't lean on my new paint job. After checking the registration, you hand it back to him and he says, You pigs are all the same, man. Uh, alright. Go back, write him a ticket. I don't remember the time again because it's not... I missed it again. No. Okay, you insert the driver's license into the slot and activates the computer. Form 9000. God damn it. Uh, We'll say it's 1800. I don't know. And then the vehicle code we want is... Two, one, six. Oh, I might have done the wrong one in the last one. I can't remember. Five, four. Uh, these aren't really that important, so. Let's, uh, no, let's walk around here. And then give him the ticket. After handing the ticket and his license, Mr. Ruiz says, Aye, man, you pigs make me want to puke, man. I'll see you in the people's court, man. Judge Wapner will take care of you. SA, wow, Judge Wapner, there's an old reference. And you have a nice day, sir. All right, back to patrolling the, the streets. The mean streets of Lytton. Bum, bum, bum. Turn our map on. I think this is the one where it's a drunk driver. I think. Looks like we're gonna come to the end of the freeway. Oop, and then turn around. All right, we well now we should be pretty close to seeing this guy, this next car. But yep, up ahead you can see a car weaving. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the drunk guy. Where is he? All right, lights on, sirens on. Get a little closer. The driver of the vehicle sees your lights and finally begins to pull over. All right, go ahead and save. D didn't say the time. This time, did it? I didn't see it anywhere. I'm not, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to know this. It's you, Sonny. No watch, no nothing. All right, well. Stop honking. Zero one nine two three. Ah, I missed it. 
There we go. If you approach from this side, I'm pretty sure you get hit by a car and you die. Alright, sir, you seem to be driving a bit erratically. I need to see your driver's license. Uh, as he fumbles through his wallet, getting his license, you think to yourself, it's obvious by looking this man is inebriated. Have you been drinking, sir? Just a couple. Shay, hiccup officer, what do you say we polish off a, a dola bourbon together? You think to yourself, if I continue inhaling this pollution, this man is exhaling, my lungs will be worse off than the ozone layer. Um... How do I get him out of the car? Let's not mess this up. Okay, would you please step out of the car, sir? I and perform a field sobriety test. What ever use Shay off Ossifer? Oh yeah, this dude's drunk. Sir, I want you to follow my finger with your eyes from side to side without moving your head. Oh yeah. Wiggle wiggle, wiggle wiggle. He can't focus. Um, do I just keep doing this? Holy smokes, you think to yourself. This poor guy is plowed. Poor guy. Okay. Obviously, this man is too drunk to be driving. Oh. Nasty. Nasty. All right, let's pat him down. Please place your hands on the hood of your car. Nothing? Okay. Cuff him. Sir, I have to take you into custody for driving under the influence. Locked up. Um... Do I tow his car or anything like that, or do we just... Do this before something bad happens? Alright, let's get in. Let's go. Still puke on the ground over there, that's gross. Um, is he coming with me? Wait, what? 1905. Uh, that's all I had to do was get out of the car. No. Do I need to. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I was gonna drive off without him. Uh, okay. Please step over to the patrol car. There we go. That would have been really awkward. We just leave him handcuffed on the side of the road. I wonder what would have happened there. Game would have ended. I, I, it's my guess. Um, can we radio or anything like that? And, no, we can't tow his car or anything. Okay, I guess we're driving back. The car is going to stay there. Okay. Um, let's see. What eastbound on the forty-one? East. Oh, let's turn on this. We're actually coming up on the police station. It's right off the freeway, right here. I think there's an exit. Okay. Yep. Next right. Oh no! Ah, fuck. Driving so hard in this game. All right, there's one coming up, up here. Maybe I should slow down. There we go, got it. All right, where am I going? Eastbound on Oak, okay, so. Eastbound on Oak, so I need to go uh, right up here. Now we're going southbound on 10th, so we can make a right turn on uh, Peach, not Fig. I think the next one is Peach. 
Yes, it is. Okay, now westbound on Peach, so we'll make a... Let's stop. A left on to 6th Street. What we're looking for. 9th. I don't know what the speed limit is, probably not very fast. Eighth. Seventh, there we go. And then sixth should be coming up. We'll make a left-hand turn. Sixth. Okay. And then the police station, yeah, there we go. Nope, not yet, okay. Oh, it's so stressful. 1911. Alright, I think this guy will also kill us if we bring our weapon in so we can't do it uh, here. Or, I mean, we can't bring our weapon in, we have to do the same thing. Place it in this locker. Alright, let's go, man. Stumbles inside. Uh, we don't need to pat him down because we already did, but we have to... Don't have his ID or anything? You removed the cuts from the drunk. Uh-oh, that might have been a bad, bad move. Shoot, and I didn't save before we came in here. I'm gonna save it now. Um, you better first have him dump out his pockets. Okay, I thought he did. Please don't do anything stupid. Okay, good. So what are we booking this fine upstanding citizen for anyway? Okay, so we want um, two, three, one, five, two, which is driving under the influence. Oh no, I was supposed to, dang it. All right, no, 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 no. Uh, restore. That was my bad. Let's go over here and use that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Step over here, sir, now. Wow, so forceful. Um, you need to turn the machine on. Okay. You turn on the gas chromatograph. Okay, let's use this. Uh, I want you to blow as hard as you can into this tube. Okay, he's blowing. 0.15, almost twice the legal limit. Okay. Okay, I guess we grab it that way. According to this, your blood alcohol level is 0.15. That's well over the legal limit. I'll have to book you. Thank God. All right, can we put... Oh, no. We don't have that in our inventory. Um, That? You better have him dump out his pockets. Okay, let's dump out your pockets. Sir, please step over here and uh, empty your pockets into this drawer. There he goes. Okay, what was it? Um, two, three, one, five, two. And as a kid, I had no idea I would make stuff up. And it worked. So you just didn't get points for booking him correctly. <laughs> but it worked. You can still take him to jail. All right, we're done here. Thanks, Sunny. Hope the rest of your patrol is less exciting. Meanwhile, at the Oak Tree Mall, Sunny's wife, Marie, is just getting off work. 1832. Uh, okay, there she is. Uh-oh, she's looking over her shoulder. What does she see? Uh oh. But oh he's smoking a cigarette. I thought he had like a miniature airplane in his hand. Oh yeah, those dudes are definitely bad. Oh no, a knife! Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, oh no, Marie, fight him off! Oh Oh no. Marie's been stabbed. Sonny Bonds, please call dispatch at once. Do you have a phone I could use? Okay, no. Let's get our gun, go upstairs, call dispatch.
Okay. Yep, always. Every time. Unlock it. Grab the weapon. Can we use <clears throat> excuse me, use the elevator and call dispatch. Or we find out the terrible news. Uh two. All right, let's go call dispatch. All right, let's get to sit down. Respond to an assault at the 300 block of East Rose Oak Tree Mall. Okay, so let me grab a pen and paper real quick. All right, so the 300 block of East Rose, 300 East Rose, which is, I'm um, looking at the map right now. We need to go out of the police station, hopefully southbound, make a right onto Rose, and then we should see it up on our, somewhere up there. All right, we can do that, let's go. I guess they didn't tell us it was, uh, Marie. Probably for the best. We'd be freaking out right now. Uh, let's go ahead and save. Down to the garage. Get in the car. Yeah, hopefully it sends us out south. Right on Rose, down to the 300 block. 1838. Wow, that was right after she got stabbed. Okay, south on 6th. Okay, there's Rose. We're going right. Yeah, we can go code 3. And then we'll pass over 5th. Yep, there it is. And then 4th. And then I think it might be in between 4th and second somewhere we'll have to watch keep an eye out for it all right we'll slow down okay third please be around here no all right we'll circle the block i guess It's not, if I circle the block and I still can't find it, I'm going to have to hop out and figure out where it is exactly. Or can I just, like, stop right here? Nope. Um... Nope. Okay, let me jump out and see what I can find out. Turn off the siren. Okay, it's actually on East Rose, uh, the 900 block of East Rose, although I swear it said 300, I don't know. So we're going, actually let's stop, I think we're going the complete wrong direction. Yes we are, awesome, so we'll go right up here. Since you can't flip a UE, we'll make another right. And after that right, we'll make a left back onto Rose, but we'll be heading, um... Sorry, one more left, or one more right, and then a left. Okay, 
pay a third. I swear it said the 300 block. Okay, now we need to go left on rows. Hey, get it. There we go. <clears throat> and then we're looking right around the 800 block. We'll slow down and we'll keep an eye out for it. Fifth. I do 50. We'll go. We'll do 50. We're code three. We've got lights and sirens going. Seventh. Okay, when we cross over eighth, we'll back off a little. Eighth. Ninth. Okay, maybe we'll see a sign for it coming up. Okay, here we go. All right, into the mall. We made it. Thank God. Hallelujah. The first thing that strikes you is that the car belongs to Marie. Then you see the paramedics working over a body. Panic begins to overwhelm you as you race to the ambulance. Oh no. That was a terrible run. Well, look at this guy's face. Like you got caught doing something to your wife. Oh no, you think? Uh, this just can't be something something. No. Oh, whoa. Uh, we're ready. If you're going, you better climb in, officer. Okay, looks like we're going with him. Uh, Maria's rushed to Lytton General Emergency, where doctors begin to ra begin the race to save her life. They work through the night, fighting to stabilize Marie's condition. Sunny spends hours of agony in the waiting room. Although they manage to save her life, Marie remains in a coma. Okay. Uh, when he's finally allowed to see her, Sunny holds her hand until the pre-dawn hours, hoping and searching for some sign that she'll come back to him. Zero, four, twelve. Here comes the doctor, it looks like. Officer Bonds, I'm Dr. Wagner, the resident neurosurgeon. Neurosurgeon? Holy cow. I'm sorry to say that your wife's condition is still quite serious. She's suffering from internal injuries sustained from the multiple stab wounds. Okay. How long she will remain in a coma is anyone's guess. In my experience, the presence of a loved one urging the patient back from that void is an incalculable asset. Interesting. We're doing all we can for her physically, but you might be the only one who can reach her now. The nurse found this chain clutched in your wife's hand. Ooh, evidence. Sergeant Bonds, you look beat. You really should go home and try to get some rest. There's nothing to be done for your wife right now. We can all feel good about the fact that Marie's alive. Marie, please come back, baby. I can't go on without you. You have to fight your pull yourself together. Can I? I I've got to go now, babe. You need your rest. It's been a rough night. You gently, you talk gently to your wife, hoping that some part of her hears you. Maria's resting gently, you don't want to disturb her. Okay, well, I don't think you'd really disturb her, but... She's in a coma. I'll get the bastard who did this, babe. I swear it! As a fellow officer drives you back to your car at the mall, you fight to focus your rage, grief, and sense of violation into something you can live with. What you end up with is a burning desire to find and crucify the slime that hurt your wife. Somebody out there picked the wrong man to mess with. Um, who's this guy? Looks like another one bit the dust, eh? I understand you were here before they removed the victim. Did you catch any dying words? Notice any signs of sexual assault? Anything at all? I'll punch this guy. Responding to your silence, the reporter says, Well, if you don't want to talk to me, I'll just get the information elsewhere. And we'll talk to him. Listen, you little blood-sucking piece of filth. The victim was my wife. You guys are all the same. Now get out of here before I forget that I'm wearing a badge. I'll give your, uh, I'll give your paper some details, all right? Uh, all about how I rearranged your face. Oh, geez, officer. I, I'm terribly sorry. I'm just trying to get the facts. I thought, I thought you cops liked... That kind of loose talk helps keep things from getting too serious, you know what I mean? 
Here's my card. If any, uh, if there's anything I can ever help you with, officer, give me a ring, huh? Again, sorry about your wife. Cool. Business card. Um, I think we can actually use our flashlight here. Okay, or not. Your batteries appear to be dead. And that's why we grabbed batteries when we started the game. Put batteries in the flashlight. You turn on your flashlight to begin a search of the scene. I think I'm supposed to find something. You better stay clear of this area, Sonny. We're sweeping for evidence. Oh, oh my. No, am I not supposed to? I thought I was supposed to. I thought I was supposed to. I see like something shiny on the ground. Okay. All right. Okay, I know. I'm trying to walk back to the car. Aha! I knew it. I saw something. No, let's go right here. Right there. Right there. Right there. You pick up what appears to be a medallion. Upon closer inspection, you recognize it to be a bronze star. War medal. Uh, I think that's all I can actually... Oops, I missed it. Do here. Maurice Trans Am still sits in the poorly lit parking lot of the mall. It's not that poorly lit. She's under a... Street light. You scan the car for clues, but find nothing. All right. Yeah, I think I just go home or drive back to the station or something. Physically and emotionally exhausted, you decide to go home and get some rest. Thank God it drove me. It's a nice house. Looks like a typical Southern California suburb suburban home. All right. This looks like it's noon. Okay, answer your phone. Jesus. Even half asleep, you recognize Captain Tate's stern voice. Bonds, rise and shine, pal. I need you back in homicide today. Uh, we've got work to do. Report in plain clothes. Sleepily, you reply. I'll be there before 1400 hours. You hate waking up without Marie next to you. Oh, that sounds like I'm taking a shower. Still taking a shower, okay. Uh, you go through the motions of getting ready for work. I'm dressed. Um, do I need to do anything here? I need... Yep. That right there. The music box plays Marie's favorite song. That's... Okay. It's a good thing it's nice and shiny and obvious. That looks like a typical Southern California master bedroom back when the middle class could actually afford to have nice things. Uh, how do I get out of here? This way? This way? That way. 1321! Ah, oh, thank God it drove us again. Do we have our gun and all that? Yep, and the pendant and the chain, the business card, the music box. All right, I don't want that. I don't want anything right now. Okay, we'll get the gun out. That's probably not a good idea, but we'll do it anyway. Oh, <clears throat> it's been so long since we've done this. Yikes, I'm asking for trouble. Go to the second floor. I think we need to talk to the captain who is in here. Um, there we go. Welcome back, Bonds. Sorry to hear about your wife, Marie. I'm assigning you to her case. That seems awkward and. One nine nine one four four one ah uh, one nine. Of course, my pen doesn't work. Nine nine one 
four four. You might want to view another stabbing case to see if they're okay. The case number is one nine nine one three seven. One nine nine one three seven. So the four four is Marie's. Three seven is a uh, stabbing of some kind that could possibly be related. Hey bongs, looks like we're stuck together, eh? Sorry if I've been a little rough around the edges lately. I'm not so bad once you get to know me. Okay, looks like I'm in here now. Can we sit down? We sure can. All right, what's this? Nothing. What's that? A phone. Okay. Okay, hang up. There's nothing in the inbox. Let's use our computer. Here's our card. Um, homicide. Review case. Um, one nine nine one four four. Searching, searching, searching. Is it a homicide? I mean, Marie's not dead. Okay, Marie Bonds. W F. White female. Date of birth. 3-15-55-5-7-1-10, location, yada yada, none, no suspects. Her husband is her, the investigating uh, officer. Victim in a coma with multiple stab wounds. Puncture wounds measuring six by one and a half inches indicate the weapon as being a dagger. Interesting. Um, summary, the suspects were frightened off during the attempt on the victim's life. Motive, robbery. Evidence anal an analysis? Analysis, none. Okay, so let's look at one nine nine one three seven. Okay, Clifford Jones, white male, Caucas. I don't know what that means. Date of birth: three fifteen thirty five. Six feet tall, one hundred ninety pounds. Lacerated heart and liver due to multiple stab wounds. Puncture wounds measuring. Okay, so the same size knife. Um, hair clutched in the victim's hand, lab analysis, blood type A negative, incisions in the shape of a pentagram located on the lower left quadrant of the torso. The pentagram was carved after death. Summary, the suspects during the process of a burglary were interrupted by the victim. A struggle ensued and the victim was murdered. Motive, burglary. No, uh, continue. Okay. All right, what am I supposed to be doing now? Let's uh, stand up. Um. Oh wait. Okay, let's check out this. A broken chain. On the back of the bronze star is a number zero nine nine. Okay, well, we have that. We don't need to write that. Uh, let's write it down. Zero nine nine eight seven. That's the bronze star I think that maybe that's the serial number I think we can actually look it up in here I should have stayed there all right back to the computer sorry Sonny oh god okay there we go um homicide ser aha serial number what did I zero nine nine eight seven zero nine nine eight seven It's a slow computer. U.S. Army Bronze Star awarded to Samuel Britt. We need to write that down. Sam. Oh, another murder. Okay, so one nine nine one two four is Samuel. How do you spell Samuel? E L. Britt. Okay. Um. Let's go look at that. We need to write down the addresses too, because we need to make, we need to plot these out. So, one, nine, nine, one, four, four. That's Marie's. I need to start a new page. Dang it. One, nine, nine, one, four, four, Marie. The address is three, four, one, East Rose. That doesn't seem right, but whatever. Okay. Um, let's go back. And we'll look at... Probably hear the paper turning. Got a notepad here. 
Come on. Okay, one nine nine one three seven is Clifford. Jones. And that address is two eighty West Palm. Okay, and then this newest case number was one nine nine one two four. Yep, and that's Samuel Britt. One nine nine one two four Samuel Britt. I need to transfer all this over to a new page, so three ninety two South Sixth Street. Okay. Um, continue stolen property. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. Uh, a negative. What was the one? The other blood. And the other one was it? A negative. It was something negative. Okay. Also a pentagram. Um, quit. Tools. Drawing composition. No, that's for drawing faces. City map. Plot crimes. Okay, here we go. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this now, but I'm going to do it anyway. So 341 East Rose. 341. Probably like right here. And then 280 West Palm. 280 West Palm. It's like 280. And then 392 South. All right, so all the way down here. Sixth. So here. There's probably another one here, another one here, something like that. Uh, I don't think I need to do that right now. So we'll leave. Okay, let's race. Let's get out. Let's quit. Um, oh, I'm, I'm at a loss. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-twenty-two, forty-twenty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-f
Okay. <laughs> there we go. Um. You need one of those funky looking keys. I think I turn the chain and everything into evidence next. I should have looked when I was out last, so yep. I'm pretty sure that's what I have to do. This is it's all so familiar, but it's not quite. But I think this is right. Oh yep. What case number, Sunny? Oh uh Marie's. One nine nine one four four. Name? Um oh Marie Bonds. Okay. Description of evidence. Broken neck chain. Location found. Clutched in the victim's right hand. Do I need a... And disposition. Disposition. Secure as evidence. Okay. I see. Um, I probably need to do the same thing with this, don't I? Same case number, I'm assuming? No, it's... Samuel Britt's case number, which is... I've got it written down. One, nine, nine, one, two, four. I mean, technically it's evidence for both, but yep, Samuel, Samuel Britt. Description of evidence. Bronze star? Bronze star. Location found. Sen scene of attack, mall parking lot. Well, okay, that's... And disposition secures evidence. Yep. Uh, guess it's time to call it a day. Before you close out your shift, you head over to the hospital to see Marie. Wow, did he come into work at 14.55? I guess he took the day. I don't know. He was in at work for like 50 minutes. Um, I think I go in here and buy flowers. If I'm not mistaken. I don't think it really matters, but you get like bonus points. Can I get you something, sir? Uh, yeah. I'm visiting my wife. All right, sir. I'm, oh, ah, I'm sorry she's ill. I don't know why I made up she... All right, sir. Perhaps something something? Sorry, if you want something for us, you must pay for it. Uh, I think I'd like a rose, please. Good choice. Our roses are particularly particularly fresh and beautiful today. Well, perfect. Here you are, sir. That'll be $2.50. You pay the florist and take the rose. Okay. Let's go talk to this lady here. See if we can figure out where Marie is. May I help you, sir. Uh, yeah. I'm looking for my wife, Marie Bonds. Uh, could you tell me what room she's in, please? Oh, yes. 307? Gosh darn it. It was on there for like a split second. Give her the rose. Should have bought a, a vase or a vase. Okay. Oh. Yeah. You could swear that you just saw Marie's finger move. I did. I saw a move. Well, that's a good sign. Uh, we'll give her the music box. No. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. <gasps> Marie's eyelids, eyelids flutter almost as though she could hear her music box. Um, give her a kiss. It worked. It did give her a kiss. Huh? You softly kiss your wife. Her eyelids flicker in response. Can I talk to her? You talk gently to your wife, hoping that some part of her hears you. Okay. Um, that's where the doctor hands the patient's charts. I think that's all I need to do here. No, don't touch anything. Yeah, dummy. I think if we leave, it ends the day? Oh, no, maybe not. Um, leave? See if this works. 
It's going somewhere. Okay, feeling physically and emotionally drained, you drive home. Day three. Yawn, stretch, go take a shower. Am I wearing plain clothes again or am I in uniform? You go through the motions of getting ready for work. I don't think there's anything left in here to do. Nope, that makes me leave automatically. Okay, fair enough. A late start to the day, one o'clock in the afternoon. Auto drive, my favorite. All right, let's get upstairs. I'm not sure why I had to put the flares in the trunk. That was a little weird. I don't know why I couldn't have done it now. Or just kept him in my pocket. But what are you gonna do? All right, two. We'll go to our office. Um. Oh, there's a paper. Good after or afternoon, Bonds. Oh, thought you pulling out a gun right there. I was just on my way to the locker room. I'll be back in a minute if you need me. Okay, Morales. See you later. Now let's pick up the paper. You pick up and read the message. Bonds, a Carla Reed called for you. She said she saw the newspaper article about Marie. Better get on over there. I think she may have something for you. Strange, though. Strange address, though. 325 South... Okay. Carla, oh don't 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 get off three twenty five South Second Street. I was afraid it was gonna leave. Her name was Carla Carla Reed. Okay, three twenty five South Second Street. Got it. That's the old industrial park. Um. Okay. Um. I guess we'll head out there? I don't... I don't know. I don't know where Morales went, but she's like our partner, I guess, more or less. Oh wait, she went to the locker room. I'm not gonna go in the locker room and try to find her though. That's weird. I already did that and I got slapped. I'm not making that same mistake again. Gra or ground floor? Garage floor? Whatever it is. Alright, let's hop in the car. Oh, and here she comes. Okay, 325 South 2nd Street. We're gonna stop and look on the map. No, 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 no. Okay, southbound on 6th. So, Sunny, this is Carla. This Carla Reed lives on 325 South 2nd. That's not a residential area. This better not be someone's idea of a joke. Um. Okay. So, 325 South. So, we need to go right on Lily, which is coming up? No. Is this Lily? Hopefully, this is Lily. Okay, perfect. Right on Lily. And then left on second. Let's turn on our little map. I think it's over in this area. This area. Here. Fourth. Do I have Siren? Oh, yeah. Let's go Code 3. Why not? No radio. Okay, so there's third. Alright, so we'll be making a left-hand turn up here. Second. Okay, so 325 South 2nd Street. I think this is it. There's no reason to get out here. Oh, not this again. Please just work for the love of God. Nope. Is that not 325 South 2nd Street? That should be it. 
Oh man, I might have to jump out of the game and figure out where I'm going again. Alright, let's turn the siren off. Oh, I'll be back. Okay, I'm one block too far north, apparently. Uh, Pat places the portable run light. Okay, thanks Pat. Ah, oh, we're going super slow. Okay, right here should do it. Yay! Alright. Okay. Is this homeless lady, maybe? Who's honking? Where's Morales? Oh, let's save the game. Alright, there we go. Let's go... Talk to her? What? Who- who's that? What do you want? Okay, let's show her our ID. Okay, there we go. Ma'am, I'm Detective Sunny Bonds of the Lytton Police Department. Yeah, so what you want from me? I ain't done nothing to nobody. You called and said you saw something at the Oak Tree Mall last night. I'd like to... Last night? I'd like you to come downtown with me and help us out. Maybe give, give us a description. I thought it was two nights ago. Uh, anyway. Ooh, I'd love to go ride in one of them real-life squad cars. Okay, just help me put my stuff in the car. Ma'am, I'm sorry, there's not enough room in the trunk for your car. You'll have to leave it here. What? Leave my stuff? Oh, no. I can't very well just up and leave my stuff. Okay. Um... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You handcuff... You handcuff it to these pipes or something like that? Yep. It's all coming back to me. There we go. You decide to sue the old gal by securing her car with your handcuffs. Cause, because someone can't just steal all the stuff out of there. That's the ticket, Sunny Boy. Let's go. Hey, auto drive again. Sweet. Where's Morales? Okay, anyway. I need to sit and rest my aching bones, kiddo. Um, I think we... Still, wait, no, let's talk to her. I ain't... I ain't eaten in so long, my taste buds have amnesia. Um, that's right, I remember this. <laughs> Steal that guy's lunch. <coughs> Excuse me, give it to her. You get the lunch to the lady. All right. Peanut butter and jelly, you guys are real gourmets, ain't ya? Thanks. All right, we'll use the computer. And we'll insert our ID card. And then we go to the drawing composite. Okay, now if you would, give a general description. He was a mean looking fella, all dark and hairy. A real sour face with a hawkish nose. Sharp, hawkish nose. Is that a hawkish nose? Close, but without the cavernous no- Okay, so no... Giant nostrils. The nose is a little too low. Okie dokie. How's that? Uh, how's that? That nose is way too big. That nose looks okay. Alright. Um... Facial hair. She said he was hairy. We'll go try that one. The beard. Oh, the beard looks okay. Uh, I don't remember what she said. Beady eyes. His eyes was small. Kind of like those. Kind of like those. Those. Well, narrower and beadier. Narrower and beadier. Narrower. His eyes were closer set. Okay. Can I change that? No. Like that? Did I say he was oriental? Change it. Wow. Okay. How's that? Reminds me kind of my kind mother's eyes. Okay, so not what we're looking for. Those don't look... Them's beady, but too far apart. Alright, how do I... Yeah, his face looks... His face looked right. Okay. Them's beady, but too far apart. Alright, so we need beady, close... Oh, there we go. The eyes is a little too far left. P 
Um, how's that, lady? The eyes look okay. Could be. He sure looked mean. That looks mean. Now there's a sour one, Sonny. So is that a yes? Looks like someone gave him a fat lip. Okay. Oh, sour. No, so that's not it. All right, so is that mean? That doesn't look very mean. No. Oh, he didn't have lips as full as those. Okay. That's pretty full. Those look like women's lips. No, nah, too full. He had a tight mouth. I don't know what that means. That's not it. How about that one? Hmm, I don't think so. Uh, I don't know. Could be. No, how about that one? That doesn't... That just doesn't look right to me. Okay. Oh, that? No, no too sweet of a mouth for his kind. Them's a little too precious for this thug. Oh, okay. How many do I have to go through? The mouth is, uh, bleh, mouth is a little too far left. Okay. Ooh, right there. That looks good. Can you comment on those? Them's a little too precious. Okay, we'll go back. That mouth looks okay. All right. What's next? Eyes, eyebrows. That'll do for starters. Okay. What does that mean? That makes him look kind of alien, don't you think? Uh, maybe? That makes him look sad. Had a, he had a little arch to his brow. Okay, so a little arch. No, that's like a unibrow. Too hairy. That could be it. Did I say he had shrubs of? Okay. A, a tab bit more arch. Maybe, maybe you meant a tad. Like that? That's close, I think. No, not close. Oh, there we go. Nah, them brows just don't look right. Okay, all right. The brow is a little too high. And probably too far left. Like that. Go back, try this. I know they don't look right. The brow looks okay. All right, hair. The hair's too straight. It was kind of wavy. Wavy hair. Like that. Hair's too straight. It was kind of wavy. Okay, not that. Oh, that? The guy didn't have a, excuse me, didn't have a buzz cut. Oh, sweet. There we go. That it? That's close, I think. Like that? The hair is way too low. Okay, way too low. Go back. Hear a comment about this. That's too, that's close. How's this? The hair looks okay. And the beard looks okay. Uh, everything look okay? Yeah, his face looks right. The eyes look okay. The nose looks okay. The mouth looks okay. The brow looks okay. The hair looks okay. And the beard looks okay. All right, so... Yep, I think we search here. See if we can come up with a match. We'll get ready to write down the info. That's the rummy. The one there in the middle. I've n I'll never forget a mean looking mug. Uh, okay. Four, nine, three, zero, two, seven. Steve Rocklin. Steve Rocklin. He's from Gibbon, USA. Okay, convicted of two counts of burglary. 62385, sentenced to five years in state penitentiary, paroled 62588, and is currently serving three years probation. No wants. No, Rockland associates with and at one time was known to be a member of the cult Sons of Darkness. Ooh. It is suspicioned the cult deals with the sale of crack cocaine. Um Okay. Wait, can I uh oh, did I do that wrong? Please don't tell me I have to redo all that. I thought I was supposed to print it or something like that. No. Um. <sighs> All right. See so if she has any. I want to go home. Okay, Carla, that should do it. Okay. I guess I don't have to print. I thought I, I swore I had to print it. 
Maybe I was supposed to and I missed out on points. Oh well. Alright, let's uh, uncuff her shopping cart. Well, bless your heart, my cart is still safe. And off she goes to sleep in her dumpster. Uh, we'll retrieve our cuffs. Um, okay, I guess we go back to the car. Um, Pat's with us. Okay. I can't do anything. You notice Morales checking her watch. She suddenly says, Yo, Sonny, drive me over to the mall real quick, would ya? I gotta make a phone call. Okay, I can't do anything, so... Grudging, grudgingly, you drive Mor Morales to the mall. Sit tight, boss. It'll only be a minute. She's up to something shady, if I remember correctly. You notice that she's careful to take her purse with her. Yep, you're suspicious now. Turn on this thing. The engine must be running. Okay. Oh, come on, Morales. We have things to do. Our wife's in the hospital. We're trying to solve. We're trying to find her murder and solve the case. What are you doing? Can I get out? Oh, yeah, I can. Marie's car is parked here during her attack. Um, store is closed. Oh, you know what we need to do before I do anything stupid? Save. There it is. No, can't touch her. Can we talk to her? We can't talk to her. Get back in the car, I guess. I don't... Start it? You better wait for your partner. Well, she better hurry. Oh, there we go. See? I'm back. Let's go. Okie dokie. So ends another shift. You drop Pat off at the station and head home. Oh, shower once more. Uh, you go through the motions of getting ready for work, same as always, we'll automatically walk off, I hope, and we'll automatically drive, because I don't want to drive. Yep, I think, uh, it took us six minutes to get to work, wow, that must be nice to have a commute like that. Okay, upstairs. Second floor. To our office, see if there's any messages or notes. Pretty sure that's what we have to do. There's a note in there. Oh, what is Morales doing? She's got to sneak out again. Got to take care of some women stuff, Bonds. Be right back. Mm-hmm. Should follow her and see what she's up to. All right, let's see what's in here. You remove the subpoena. You are commanded to appear in the Lytton Municipal Court as a witness in the case of People versus Juan Ruiz. You remember that you cited Mr. Ruiz for impeding traffic. Oh yeah, that was the guy. I'm probably gonna lose this case. I don't think I got the time right. Um. Okay, let's read it. Is that all it's? I don't have it. I need to go to court. I do remember that part. So let's head back downstairs. I don't know if Morales is coming with us or not. Uh, the court is two blocks to the east, right in the same location. So we need to make a left on to Rose, and then a left on to 8th. Round. And then... We also, I think, in this car, in the glove box, there's... 
I got pa paper of some kind, paperwork that says... Oh, Morales. She's like uh, Keith from Police Quest 2. Always running out at the last second. Oh, we're driving. Okay, well, no, can I stop? I need to stop and grab that paper. Uh, stop. I can't do it. Um... Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. Crap. Okay, so southbound on 6th. Alright. We need to go back to the station. <laughs> if we can make this turn at 20. <laughs> Let's save it just in case. Turn! Oh, yeah. Northbound on 5th. We we'll, should be coming up to Peach, I think. Yep. Peach. Okay. Um, and then right on 6th. Alright, and the PD should be on the right. Yep, there it is. Uh, the paperwork we need is actually in the patrol car, not in this car. That's... The flaw. I, pull, I pulled him over in the patrol car. That's where the paperwork is. Let me guess, Morales. You have to run off and do something. I'll catch up with you. Yeah. What are the odds? You shady, shady person. Alright. Open patrol car door. And I think we should be able to just grab it without having Morales. Yep. Okay. So this is right then. Okay. Open this. You reach over and open. Yeah. You reach over and open the glove compartment. Thinking about your upcoming court appearance, you wisely decide to take the speedometer calibration chart with you. Yep, that's what it is. Alright, let's leave. Even though I don't think I clocked him with a radar gun, but... Whatever. This is the guy in the low rider at the beginning. The big fat guy in the red shirt. All right, southbound on 6th, coming up on Rose, we need to make a left. Wait, is that right? Yeah, left on Rose, and then a left on 8th. 7th. All right, so 8th should be coming up. Let's turn this on, this actually helps. Okay, we need to slow down. Yep, 8th. And I think this is correct, yep. On the right. Uh, stop. No, stop. Dang it. So we're just supposed to pull over? Okay, I thought we could turn in somewhere. I guess not, so I now I gotta circle the block. Oh, okay. Ninth. We'll make a right. And then another right. And then another right, and we should be back to the court, and then we'll have to just pull over on the side of the road. I wish there was a little consistency, but what are you going to do? Okay, so here. Okay, <laughs> now we can get out. I'll be waiting for you in the car, boss. All right, you weirdo. Okay, we're in the courtroom. You take the witness chair next to the deputy district attorney. The bailiff in a loud voice. The bailiff says in a loud voice, All rise for the Honorable Judge Mildred Simpson. Quite the name. Hello, Mildred. The bailiff says in a loud voice, Court is now in session. Please be seated. Directing your attention to the prosecutor, Judge Simpson, Simpson says... Mr. Cannon, please call your first witness in the People versus Ruiz. People call Officer Sunday Bonds to, to the stand, Your Honor. Oh, I think this is where that time might come back to bite me. Not knowing the time when I pulled him over. Officer, please raise your right hand. 
Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? You can't handle the truth. I do. Please state your name and occupation for the court. Sonny Bonds, Detective Sergeant with the LPD. All right, let's see. Officer Bonds, on September 14th, you issued a citation to Juan Jose Ruiz. Ruiz, Ruiz. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Yes, that's correct. Oops. Officer Bonds, do you see Mr. Ruiz anywhere in the courtroom? Um, sh yep. I don't, but sure. That man over there is seated at the defendant's table. Speaking to the court reporter. Let the record reflect that Officer Bond Bonds has identified the defendant, Mr. Juan Ruiz. Officer Bonds, would you please describe the events which led up to your, your issuing a citation to Mr. Ruiz? Uh, sure. Certainly, I had a routine traffic duty that day. I had been on duty for about six hours and was patrolling the highway when I drove up on a line of slow-moving cars in the fast lane. I pulled around them and in the slow lane, and I reached when when I reached the head of the line. I saw Mr. Ruiz in a 1958 Ford Fairlane. A nice car. I could see immediately that he was going way under the speed limit. So I clocked him. My speedometer registered 35 miles per hour. That's a lie, man. Oh, irritated. Judge Simpson wraps her gravel. Gavel. Uh, you're out of order, Mr. Ruiz. Uh, you'll have a chance to tell your side of the story in due time. Officer Bonds, could you show the court the speedometer calibration chart for your police vehicle? Thank God. You were operating that day? I sure can. You hand the calibration chart to the deputy district attorney. Here it is. Let the record note that uh, uh, note the admission of one calibration chart into evidence. I have no further questions, Your Honor. Oh, thank God. Don't ask me about the time. Maybe the defense attorney will. The judge addresses the defense attorney. Uh-oh. Uh, your witness, Mr. Meyer. Oh, crap. Uh, the defense attorney cross-examines you. Officer Bonds, do you recall the time? Oh, crap. Well, I don't recall, but it should be on the ticket. Yes, the time is on the ticket, but it's not the correct time. God damn it. I have no further questions, Your Honor. Yeah, that was my fault. I screwed that one up. You may step down, Officer Bonds. <clears throat> Hopefully I don't lose the game. Mr. Weiss, please step forward. Okay, this is taking forever. I don't think the game loses. <clears throat> I, I hope. Otherwise, I'll start crying. But Mr. Weiss, please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth? Blah, 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 blah. blah. I do. Please say your name. Hold on, Jose Ruiz. Get on the stand. Hurry up. Uh, can you briefly tell us what happened that day, Mr. Ruiz? I was just driving, Your Honor. Not doing nothing. I'm a very careful driver. I don't do no showing off or nothing in my ride. I wasn't speeding. I wasn't going slow. I wasn't doing nothing. These cops just don't like Chicanos, man. That's the truth. He'd have busted me if I was going 54. You're a witness, Mr. Cannon. I have no questions for the witness, Your Honor. Uh, do you have anything further to say, Mr. Ruiz? No, Your Honor. Uh, any closing arguments? No, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. Then I'll proceed with my decision. You may step down, Mr. Ru Ruiz. Let's see what she decides. Based on the officer's vague recollection, recollect, recollection of the facts around the citation, I find the defendant not guilty. Oh, man. I told you I'd see you in court essay. Next time, don't waste my time or the courts. If you can't get a citation right, don't issue one. You mumble. Er, I'm um, sorry. Well, you win some, you lose some. If only there was a timekeeping piece I could wear on my wrist or look at the computer and see the time or look at the clock in the car and see the time but no shouldn't have been an issue and we lost out on points then okay um you notice morales checking her watch she suddenly says yo sonny drive me over to the mall real quick would you i gotta make a phone call okay good because i wasn't sure where to go so that's nice and it should auto drive me Sit tight, boss. Only be a minute. Okay. Oh, she left her purse. She seems in awful hurry this time. She even neglected to take her purse with her. And you take the purse key, knowing that you'll have to be returned before Morales's, Morales notices it's gone. The purse key? In the nick of time, you replace Morales's key and hope she... Wait, what? Um...
No. Oh, okay. I don't need to return it yet. I don't think. Why would I re Okay, I think I need to make a copy of the key. And it's to get in her locker or her car or something shady that I probably shouldn't be doing, but I, for some reason I do. Oh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember now. Okay, here we go. That's what I need to do. I remember this because it took me, when I was a kid, I, I had such a hard time passing this part. Uh, this guy can make copies of keys, so you need to make a copy of the key. What can I do for you? Need a key made? Okay, I make keys for big locks, small locks, clocks, cars, tanks, and banks. What do you need, fella? Make a copy of this one. Ah, yes, no problem with this little jewel. I'll have a copy in a second. Ah, oh, that's an awful sound. Here you are, fella. That'll be two fifty. You give Zach his two dollars and fifty cents. Thanks, buddy. Another day, another two dollars and fifty cents. Cool. Let's go back. We'll put the key on her back on her purse before she gets back to the car. In the nick of time, you replace Morales' key and hope she doesn't notice anything funny. Yep, let's wait for Morales. See, I'm back. Let's go. All right, where am I? Where am I going? Um. Okay, the radio comes alive. 64 David Litton. Morales says, "This is 64 David. Go ahead." Dispatch comes back and says, uh, "187 in alley, 300 block of West Rose. One traffic unit is 1097." Morales confirms the call. Litton 64. David copies, and we are responding. Well, you heard it, boss man. She says, "Let's roll." Oh no, I've got to figure out where to go. Um, 300 West Rose, I think she said. Which is, let me look on the map here. Okay, West Rose. 300 Eastbound on Rose. So we need to flip around. Alright. 10th. Make a right. If this doesn't work, I'll have to find a new way. Again, as I've had to do, I think every time I've had to find a location on my own, I haven't been able to do it. All right, then we'll go left on West Rose. We'll go code three. I think Code 3 lets us blow through stop signs if there are any. I haven't seen any except for at the beginning of the game, but should we encounter one, I'll be good to go. Okay, so now we're westbound on Rose. We need to go to do the 300 block, which is here, according to the map. I think. Right around here. Oh, wait. Right around here. This is Rose. Okay, so we still have a ways to go. Oh. Alright, this should be fifth, yep. Uh, fourth is coming up. And I think as soon as we cross this intersection, we should be good. So third. Oh my god, I did it. Hails to the yeah. Uh. Oh yeah, there's a body in the dumpster. Victim's over there in the dumpster. Um. Oh, all these people. Okay, I'll be posted at the entrance of the alley waiting for the meat wagon if you need me. Oh. Um, uh, I'll do the camera bit, Bonds. Okay. Ah, Ai Chihuahua. Okay, she's taking pictures. Um, she's still, I still can't do anything. And she's walking off because that's what she does best. I think we need to get our 
field kit out of the trunk. Okay, she has the camera, so we'll take everything else. I don't think we want the flares. That might have been a mistake. Close, close. Um. Okay. Guess we can go look at it. Oh, yeah. Um. His face looks anything but peaceful. A bloody shirt covers the upper tor torso. What is that? You examine the body, but its skin color and state of rigor mortis. Oh, by its skin color and state of rigor mortis. Uh, you'd guess that the victim's been dead for at least a few hours. Um, what is that? Toothpicks for evidence gathering. Empty sample envelopes. Okay, there's something on his pants, I think. Nope, what's in his hand? Uh, using the toothpick, you scrape under the victim's fingernails. You then place the collected skin and hair into the sample envelope. Cool. Um, uh, what is this? A scraper for evidence gathering. Scraper? Um... Let's see. Notebook him? I can't notebook him at all? Please let me leave. Oh, God. What have I done? Carefully search the body and remove the victim's identification. Okay. Hey, Bonds. Nice day, eh? How's the stiff? He's hanging in there, Leon. You log the victim's information in your notebook. Okay, he does it automatically. Before handing the ID to the coroner. Not a pretty picture, eh? Let me guess. His name isn't Lucky. <laughs> Um, I'll take care of him now, Bonds. You go and catch some bad guys. Okie dokie. The alley is the lousy place to die. There's no... This part of town is full of typical American brick tenements. Oh, and that car is interesting for some reason. You notice a fresh dent marked, marked with gold paint on the side of the car. Uh, it's a abandoned white car. The dent contains gold paint. Uh, okay. Let's scrape some of it off. It is a scraper. You carefully scrape some of the gold paint transfer from the side of the white car along with a little white paint into the into the envelope. Paper envelope. Um. Okay. So, I says to her, Aunt Sophie, could we just this once not turn this into- Okay, that's... Not relevant. Thanks for the joke, though. Okay, let's put- Oh, well, no, let's do, uh... This. Toothpicks. That's a weird thing to have in a box. Uh, evidence box. Morales has the camera. Uh, I think that's it. Let's see what happens. Hurry up, Morales. Oh, man. Just please let me auto drive back. Uh, westbound on Rose. Alright, let's see where we're going. Westbound. Okay, the wrong way. Cool. Second street, we'll make a right. Um, it should be Peach coming up. Yep. Okay, right on Peach. And then we'll go all the way down to 6th Street, which is where the station is. And make a right, and then we should be able to just pull right in. Oh, you know what? Been a while. I don't want to have to replay this all over again. Okay. Make a right here. 
And then I think the police station is... Okay, it's on the right. Money. Maybe? Okay, yep. 1823. Uh, I'll catch up with you. Gotta run into my car. Of course you do. Can't do anything until she's off screen. Okay, there we go. Not quite sure what to do next. Maybe... No, I need, I need to log this evidence, but I don't have a case number, so... Maybe I have to go generate a case number or something like that. Check my basket for memos, since that seems to be... Um... Go-to place to move on to the next... Yep, there's a memo in there. Should have known. Sunny, Dr. Wagner called and would like you to stop by the hospital. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure, though, I have to do this. Uh, okay. Insert your card. Um, homicide. New file. Based on the information you obtained at the murder scene, you open up a new file on the Dent murder. Okay, let me write this down. One... Nine nine one four five dent And the address is three seven six okay three seven six West Rose Multiple stab wounds same size knife ritual coltmer associated with tempted murder okay that's my own notes it says there's a second page, but there isn't, so let's go ahead and quit. We'll go down to the evidence room. Book that. Book the evidence we found, the paint and the um, flesh under the fingernails. Okay, to the evidence locker. One nine nine. Sloppy handwriting. One nine nine one four five. All right, evidence. This, whatever this is, I think this is the paint. What's the case number, Sonny? One nine nine one four five. Name: Andrew Dent. Description of evidence: skin and hair samples. Location found: under the victim's fingernails. And disposition. Analyze for DNA profile. Alrighty. We'll do the paint next. What case number, Sunny? Same one. One nine nine one four five. Name Andrew Dent. Description of evidence. Gold paint transfer. Location found. Left rear quarter panel of abandoned 1973 Ford Pinto. And disposition. Uh, analyze for possible vehicle type. Okay, I guess... I guess that's it. If you haven't gotten something for me, Bonds, would you mind clearing the path for... Okay. I'll get out of your hair. Alright, let's go to the hospital, I'd assume. Please let me leave. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, Morales is coming with us. Oh, it's not gonna auto-drive. Or is it? Oh, Christ. Alright, we're headed southbound on 6. So if I look at the map, we need to go right onto Rose. This was Rose, right? West on Rose. Okay, then we'll make a right... On to fourth. Okay, fifth. Should be fourth. Okay. And then we should cross over Peach. And then the hospital should be on our left. Turn this on. 
Alright. Yep. There it is. Where is it? Which side? Which side? Which side? Oh, just stop any- Dude, seriously, come on. Okay, thank god. So annoying. <laughs> Um, I already bought her a rose. I think we just go up. And I think I have to look at her chart. Something's off with her chart. Something like that. If I remember correctly, it has to do with her chart. She's getting the wrong dosage. Yep, there's a chart on there. I do remember this. Alright, so let's talk to the doctor, I guess. Dr. Wagner's face is grave as he says, I'm afraid I don't have any good news, Sonny. Marie's... Condition is unchanged. There's nothing more we can do but wait and hope. Again, I'm sorry, officer. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have other patients to attend to. The chart shows that Marie's IV dosage is supposed to be set at 0 0.005. Oh, why are we going to this side? 0.115. Okay, the digital readout indicates Marie's IV dosage. Can I change it? You can't change the medication yourself. Press the call button. Hope the nurse is on the way. Okay. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh. Okay, that works. You softly kiss your wife. Her eyelids flicker in response. Oh. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me, do you need something, Sergeant Bonds? Yeah, in an anxious voice, you tell the nurse you are concerned about the IV dosage. The doctor... I'll get the doctor to check on that right away. Uh, she would check it herself in real life. Torn between feeling foolish and genuinely alarmed, you explain to the doctor that there seems to be a discrepancy between the IV dosage on the chart and that on the IV meter. The doctor looks doubtful as he checks the chart. Oh my gosh, you were right. Officer, good catch. Then the IV. With a red face, the doctor says, uh, why? You're correct, Sergeant Bonds. The dosage is obviously incorrect. Uh, I don't understand this at all. I can't believe our staff could make such a serious error. I have readjusted the IV. Perhaps Marie will feel better now. Well, I think you're about to get slapped with a, uh, medical malpractice lawsuit. I can retire. Give her another kiss, I guess? You softly kiss your wife, her eyelids flicker in response. Talk to her? Uh, you talk gently to your wife, hoping that part of her hears. Let's do this. You let Marie... No, I want to use it. I can't use it? Okay. Um. I guess that's... It? I don't know. I don't know what else to do. Try leaving. See what happens. Lit in general. Okay, you drop your partner off at the station, then drive yourself home for some needed rest. Okay, so that was right. Uh, let's go ahead and save. Save. Did not save. Did not save. What is it doing? Okay, day five. You go through the motions of getting ready for work or something like that. Okay, you go through the motions of getting ready for work. Hey, I got it. Okay. Walk out to the car, auto drive over to work, hopefully. Yes. All right, upstairs, check the box, do something, go to our office. Number two. All right, to your desks, uh, Sergeant Bonds, to your desk. Oh, Morales, let me guess, you have to run off. Yeah, okay. 
You shady, shady person. Oh, it's, the key is for her desk. That's what it is. She always locks it whenever we come in. Um, can I... Did I do this? Uh, okay. Let's save. Save game 20. Better not while people are... Oh, okay, so no. Not right now. He's in the room. Whoever this guy is. I don't know who he is. Uh, wait, nothing's in the basket. This, nope. But I think now is when I enter the locations of the murders in and it, I, I should come up with evidence added to case 199145. Okay. Tools, city map. Okay. Um, plot crimes. 376 West Rose. So. God, this is confusing. All right, I'm looking at the map on my second monitor. <clears throat> and the map on here. So here's Rose. So. I think that's. This is 600, 500, 400, 300 right here. So 376 West Rose was like right here. Okay. 341 East Rose. So on the same road, three, there's 300. So 341 is like right here. Um, next is 280 West Palm. Where's Palm? Palm. 280 West. 200. So 280 is like right here-ish, I think. Um, and then 392 South 6th, 6th Street, which is 6th. 392, 39, 200, 300, no wait, 392, oh, so way down here, that's like on the corner here. Um, okay. Those are the only four I have. I feel like there's supposed to be another one up here that creates the fifth. But I can't remember. Oh, let me think about this. Okay, so I have 341 East Rose, 280 West Palm, 392 South 6th Street, and 276 West Rose. Maybe add this one here. I want to say I have to do that. I have to check pattern draw mode. So here to here. Oh, here to here, here to there, there to there, and there to there. Um. Is that right? I don't even know if that's right. <sighs> yep, this is what it was like back when I was a kid, trying to do the same thing. Don't it doesn't make any sense. Um oh wait, let's okay, let's look at the evidence. Maybe that's what I'm missing. No. Okay, homicide one nine nine one four five. Uh, review case one nine nine one four five. Maybe I get a new case number with a new address. That maybe that's what that fifth address is, and I'm just supposed to not know that it's a pentagram yet. Okay, Andrew Dent, date of birth, blah blah blah, three seven six West Rose. I already have that address. Multiple stab wounds. 
Um, skin and hair samples, paint transfers, ritual cult mur murder. Okay, continue. Evidence analysis, gold paint. Transfer analysis shows car to be used on General Motors sedans models, 1976. Okay. Do I need to search for anything else? I I don't I don't I don't know. All right, let's try it again. Wait, what was that? Um, no tools, drawing pod. Okay. Um, where are we? Plot crimes. Okay. Three seven six West Rose. So three seven six West Rose. Three four one East Rose. So on the same road. You know, three seven six. So like right there. Two eighty West Palm. West Palm is up here. Two hundred three. Okay, two hundred and eighty. And then 392 South 6th, which was here? No, 6th. 8th, 6th. 392, it was like all the way at the bottom. Um, is that right? Check for a pattern. Come on. Oh my gosh, this mouse is freaking out. All right, right there. Uh, there too. There, no, that's not right. That line's not right. There. To there, there. To there, oh man, I missed there. To there, yeah. And then I should be like, is that right? Somewhere up here, and hey, hey, all right, there we go. Your pattern has formed a, formed a perfect pentagram. Can this show the location of the next murder? Um, what is the address there? 200 something. Let me just write this down just in case. 220 East Palm or thereabouts. Okay, so let's get out of here. Um, now I think we have to call dispatch. If I remember correctly. The voice on the other line says, "Dispatch, can I help you?" Yep, we do. You advise dispatch to broadcast an all points bulletin for the possible suspect vehicle. Oh no, that's she's not going to send out uh, an address. That's for the vehicle. You describe the vehicle as being a gold General Motors sedan with possible white paint transfers. You also advise that the occupants may be armed and dangerous and to approach with caution. I've got it all. She says I'll put this on out on the air immediately. Awesome. Um. Oh, there's no one in the room. Yes. Oh, let's, uh, crap. Let's save before we do this in case. Oh, no, replace. I don't like this. 21. Okay. You find a piece of paper with a series of numbers on it. All right, let's write down this, too. Probably her locker combo. Morales. Paper three eight six. So I can barely read my own handwriting, but I want to be able to recognize it. Okay, three eight six. Okay, carefully close and relock the drawer. All right, let's um head out. Nope, I remember. This all it's so okay. I need to look at. Oh, hey, where did you come from? The memo advises mandatory attendance of all female officers for physical performance testing at the beginning of shift tomorrow. Okay, that was what I was supposed to do. How ridiculous! 
then I think I have to go have a meeting with the psychiatrist, even though it doesn't say anything about it anywhere. But I haven't talked to him yet, and I know I need to, so... Um... It's a personnel file. Oh, I think I'm supposed to read it. Maybe that's what it is. No one seems to be around, so you pick up the file, you'll notice... You notice that it's a personal personnel file of Pat Morales. Afraid of being caught snooping, and you read the only you read only the doctor's summary. One displays chronic insubordination. Okay, irrational hatred of authority figures, which is odd because she's a cop. Low self-esteem, borderline sociopath. Summary. Evaluation suggested by Internal Affairs. Officer Morales was involved in the destruction of evidence on three different occasions. Yikes. Internal Affairs concluded the incidents were coincidental, based on insufficient evidence. For disciplinary action, you return the file to the desk. I sit. You refer a cold beer to Freudian analysis. Okay, let's, uh... No. No. Okay, let's leave. Alright, I had to read ahead to find out what to do next. Um... Because I've been walking around, nothing's working. So, we have to go oh, we have to go upstairs and get a tracking device. I don't know how games like no, 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 no. How games expect you to just know how to do this? It makes zero sense to me. How am I supposed to know I need a tracking device? <laughs> There's nothing that said anything about any kind of tracking device. So, uh, we'll go get it. Uh, third floor. And it's in... here? No, here. No. Wait, maybe we talk to him. Uh, the technical commission mic down stops. Listen, Sarge, I'm a very busy person. Oh, okay. I'm, I swear there was... Try walking over here? No, where is... That's where it was... Don't look through Mike's cabinet, don't look through Mike's cabinet. Nothing on the desk. Um... That's Mike's cabinet. Yeah, uh, we've established that. The table holds various computer magazines, none of which interest you. Um... I swear I need to go over there and... Well, time to jump out and see what I'm supposed to do again. Okay, I think I might have forgotten to get this tracker. Uh, when I was supposed to. Oh, nope. <laughs> I, okay, you look in the cabinet to see what loaner equipment is in stock. You see a tracking device in the drawer. You move the tracking device from Mike's desk drawer. No, now, don't forget to return the tracking either. Okay. Yeah, apparently I was reading through it. I was supposed to do that a few days ago. But I forgot, so... Or I didn't know I was supposed to. Couldn't remember. Um, but now, I remember. Okay, hop in the car. We need to drive to the 220 East Palm area. Here comes Morales. Thirteen forty-nine. Southbound on 6th. Alright, so we'll go ahead and... Morales. Uh, as I recall, the only buildings on the 200 block of East Palm are some warehouses and the Nugget Saloon. Crap, I wanna... God, why did she have to fucking talk right there? I swear to God. Okay, so... We'll, we'll just drive to an extra block or two. All right, left on Lily. Um, maybe we should just go right on. No, eighth. That is one we need to go right on. Okay, here comes eighth. We'll make a, a left, not a right. Let's turn this on. It's 
Oh, it's all the way. Oh, come on. It's all the way up. Um, here, I believe. Where it was? Or here? One of the two. I think it's here. There's the court. We'll keep going. God damn it. If I could just click on something that's not off the map or off the grid here. Oh, the corner. Interesting. Fig. All right, we're passing. What's next? Oak. Yep, oak. All right, now we should be coming up on palm. Stop. Oh, crap. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Okay, make a right hand turn and then stop. Get out. Hopefully. Yes. Oh, yeah, this is the ghetto. Uh, that looks like a gold car with paint on it, so... Whoa, 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 where are you going? Let's go ahead and... Read the license plate or look at the car. Hopefully read the plate. Where's he going? Okay, look at the parked car and notice that the license plates are missing. Oh, that's why. The car matches the description of the suspect vehicle. Um... Giving the car a closer look, you see what appears to be fresh white paint on the tra or transfer. Bingo, you matter. I got you now, SOB. Can I get the kit out of the trunk? No, it might actually let me. Grab it all. You don't need the camera. How does it know that? Okay. Let's go back over here. I don't really trust Morales as our backup. Okay, let's use the scraper on the white paint. Uh, you carefully scrape off... You carefully scrape some of the white paint transfer off and put it in an envelope. Alright, and then this guy on the car. You plant the tracking device on the suspect vehicle. That's what that thing in our car is for, that little map that I like to use. It's for using the tracker. But I can also use it to find out where we are, since this game has no way of really telling you. The driving mechanic in this game is terrible. Alright, let's put it all back. Um, we should probably save, because I have a feeling we're going to need it. Okay, save game 22, place. Um. I think we go inside. Let's go check it out. Game save, so if that's wrong, we're fine. If something bad happens, we're okay. The old nugget. Um. Can we sit down? I'm gonna check out the back for the suspect, Sonny. Does you do you even know who we're looking for? I don't Okay. Excuse me, sir. Is that your car parked right out front? No, not mine. I drive a Harley, man. Sorry to bother you. That's this guy. Excuse me, sir. Is that your car parked right out front? Uh, nah, my car's been in the shop all week. Why? Nothing. Thanks. Bartender. Maybe I have better luck getting her attention when she's, she isn't quite so busy. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Is that your card out front? Shh, sniff. No, ain't, uh, anybody? No, what? Man ignores you. Seems to be waiting on someone to come finish the game. Oh, that's probably our guy. Can we sit down? No, I don't have time to sit down. Okay, let's go. Oh, damn. Um... Oh. The punk's hateful glare burns right through you. Uh, I think I need to arrest him or try to arrest him. Better keep it holstered until you really need it. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Do I talk to him? What do I do? Oh, what? What kind of a run is that? Where are you going? You curse as you watch the suspect get away. What? What's going on? Just get in the car. Alright, well, I could have held him at gunpoint, but what do I know? Alright, turn it on. There we go. Uh, drive after him. We need to go left right here. 
Step on it. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, he's getting on the freeway. Oh, Christ. This is... The blip has stopped on the freeway. Okay, fig. Now, can we get on the freeway? Next right. Okay, right, 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 right. Oh, God. Okay, Pat places the portal roadlight on the dash. Alright, cool. We're coming up. Up ahead you see a car overturned in the middle of the freeway. You slow to a stop. Oh, thank God it did it for me. Oh. Damn. Holy mother of God, look at this mess. I'll get on the radio and call for support, Sonny. Go ahead, I'll... Okay. Uh, flares? Let's save. Uh, let's go down to three and replace it as... 23? And get the flares out. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Let's be safe. Where did... okay. <clears throat> Where'd we go, Sonny? What are you doing? Oh, there we go. You lay a, f a flare pla pattern on the road um, to block traffic until the accident has been cleaned up. Interesting that you wouldn't park the car over here so that you could do flares here and let traffic go by on the shoulder, but what do I know? Alright, that officer's gonna uh, direct traffic for us. We'll run over and look at the body. See what's up with him. We'll search him. Uh, it's the guy from the bar, all right. He won't be doing any talking, though. But then he'll never stab another man's wife in the parking lot ever again, either. The keys are still in the ignition. Is that a sign? You remove the keys. Oh, okay. We'll search him. You search the battered body, but find no identification. Oh. Okay, these paramedics are gonna... Can we... Can okay, talk to him? Ah, Bonds, what brings a sergeant to this little mishap? Uh, the stiff was a suspect on a case of mine. He tried to pop me in a bar back in town. Uh, we were in hot pursuit when he rolled his vehicle. He matches the description of one Stephen Rocklin. But we can't be sure until we have a positive ID. I see. Well, he's road pizza now. Yikes. I didn't see any ID on him. Uh, I'll make a positive ID and call you when I have something. Thanks, Leon. And I remember from playing this a long time ago that you have to open his trunk to find uh, drugs in there. I remember not doing that and not being able to pass by here. Or by pass this part. Okay, so upon opening the trunk of the car, several packets of cocaine fall to the ground. Apparently this guy had several bad vices. Alright, let's pick him up. Hey, Sergeant. Uh, go ahead, I'll round up the evidence, Sonny. Yeah, I'm sure you will. You shady little... Cop. Okay, thanks, Sergeant Bonds. Uh, I'll stay for the cleanup. You and Officer Morales can take off now. Okay. Looks like we don't have a choice. Alright, where are we headed? Westbound on the 41. Okay, so I need to get off. Can I get off? Where can I get off? I should be able to get off. Okay. Ooh. Oh, did I just miss it? Dude, you gotta give me a little more warning than that game. God damn it. Now I have to drive all the way down and around. Oh, let's, uh, save. Yeah, in freeway, we turn around, yada yada, let's do it. Oh, we're getting, we got off the freeway. Oh, interesting. Okay, and we missed that turn, so, okay. I don't know why it kicked us off, that's interesting. Okay, Lily, then we need to go right on 6th, what we're looking for. Okay, first... I really don't like the driving in this game at all. Second. Third. We go a little faster, maybe. 
fourth. There we go, fourth. Fifth. And then sixth is where we want to go left. And then the police station should be somewhere up here. No, oh, oh, it's after Rose, okay. Oh, got it. Yeah, really dislike the driving. By far the, my least favorite thing about this game. Probably my least favorite thing about any of the police quests is the driving in this game. Now, let me guess, Morales, you have some more to go. Yeah, okay. Um, let's go get the trunk. We have evidence in here? No. Wait, what did she do with the evidence? Um. Okay, well, we'll go upstairs. I thought, I thought she, she put evidence in the trunk. Maybe that's part of what she's up to. Stealing drugs. Okay, to our office, check for notes. I don't think we we learned anything new um, about any of the cases, I don't think. There is a note. I knew it. Uh, the note reads, Sonny, Dr. Wagner called again to remind you that it is important for you to see Marie every day. Oh, my wife, Marie. Okay, I can do that. Um, do I have... I swear I... Oh, I do have evidence. White paint. Okay, so I do need to go to evidence to turn that in. I can do that. All right, down to evidence. All right, and this is oh, this is for uh the dent case. So that is one nine nine one four five. What case number? One nine nine one four five. Name: Andrew Dent. Description of evidence: white paint sample. Location found: left rear quarter panel of a 1976 GTO. And disposition: analyze for possible case match with white paint from whatever. The other sample from 199145. Okay, I think I'm done. Maybe? Okay, there we go. And then I'm pretty sure I just go to the hospital now. I don't think there's anything left to do. I don't know where Morales is. Shocking. Oh, here she comes. Great. Oh man, do I have to find the hospital? God damn it. Alright, stop. Let's see, we're south on Rose, so we're headed down here. So we want to go left, and then the hospital is on... Oh, no, the hospital's on... 4th. So 5th, 4th, so we'll go right, and then it's up here. After we cross Peach. Okay, so right... And then right on fourth. This should be fifth we're coming up on. Okay. Uh, we'll cross Peach and then I think we, as soon as we see the sign we stop because there's no parking lot. 
Okay, Peach. And we'll stop and get out. Sweet. Yo, Sonny, I think it's uh or I think I'll make a phone call while you're upstairs. Okay. Deal. You weirdo. She is seriously super shady. Super, super shady. Ay, Marie. Talk to her. Uh, there's no chart, no nothing. You talk gently to your wife, hoping that some part of her hears you. Can we play the music? Okay, let's kiss her, see what happens. You softly kiss your wife and her eyelids flicker in response. Okay. Well, I saw her. I don't think there's anything to do. I think the charts... Yeah. We'll go ahead and take off. Fingers crossed that this works. Oh, there goes Morales. Don't make me drive. Okay, drive your partner off at uh, the station, and then drive yourself home for some needed rest. Perfect. Let's save. Yep, you go through the motions of work. Her motion's getting ready for work. And we'll head off to the station. Should auto drive us. Praise Jesus. All right, we're at work. Um, I did some reading up ahead because I know the Morales thing has to come to a conclusion. I couldn't remember how it was done. So, I didn't read the details of what I'm supposed to do exactly. But I need to cause a, a scene in the men's locker room so I can go into the women's locker room and open her locker. Okay, first floor. There's the janitor. Yeah, because if I try to walk into women's, he'll stop me. So I need to go in here and plug the toilet, I think, if I remember correctly. I had a hard time making it far in this game uh, when I was young, so I think I take all that toilet paper. Yep, okay, you unroll uh, all the two-ply toilet paper, creating a big wad. Let's put it in there. You toss the wad of toilet paper into the toilet and flush it. The toilet complains loudly and starts to overflow. Oh, yikes, let's get out of here. That locker belongs to somebody else, Bonds. Okay, yeah, I didn't try to do it. Nah, I think maybe we go tell the janitor what's going on. The janitor looks friendly enough, so you strike up a conversation. Mr. Stump, the toilet in the men's locker room is overflowing. Think maybe you can take care of that for me? It's a real mess. Well, I sure can. Heck, I'll go... I'll get on it right now, Sarge. Thanks, man. You're a good guy. Sorry I had to do that to you. Okay, let's see. Let's go in the women's locker room. Oh, which one's hers? That's not Morales. No, no. Okay. Um, let's see. The code is, I wrote down 386. Three, eight, six. Oh, no. Unbelievable. It looks like Morales has been stealing packets of, of cocaine. Um, then let me need to write this down. Yep, you take notes on what you have found. Yikes. All right, Morales, you're busted. I thought it had something to do with drugs. I didn't want to say anything just in case, but I don't want to give away the stories. You know, I wanted to give it away as little as possible. 
Uh, now we go upstairs. Second floor. Into the office. Um, hi, Captain. Captain, I have reason to... Oh, yeah. My... Uh, I have reason to believe that my partner, Morales, has stolen... God damn it. I'm also beginning to suspect that she may be in league with this cult. Oh, what? I didn't know about that. All right, Bonds. I'll have internal affairs... I'll have the internal affairs boy check it out and keep an eye on her. Let Play it straight. Something, something, something. I don't know why they don't give you enough time to read it. Um, Bonds, the coroner called and said he has something important for you. Something he found on the fatal crash victim last night. Better get over to see him pronto. Oh, Christ. I gotta drive again. Your partner should be back from her physical testing any second. Mm, sorry, that was a big yawn. Okay, well, I'm gonna take off. Even if she's not here, she bugs me. Uh, okay, according to the map, the coroner's office is on 8th and Peach. So we should make a left on Rose when we get out of the police station if it sends us south. And then a right on 8th, we'll pass by the court, and then we'll see the corner. Cool. Here comes Morales. Dirty, dirty, druggy, dirty cop. Okay, south on 6th. Okay, we'll go left on Rose. And then we'll go right on 8th. Oh, let's turn on our little thingy. Yep, right on 8th, so the next road. Okay, there's the court. And then I think the corner is the same thing. You just kind of pull off to the side. Cross over Peach. Should be right here. Slam on the brakes. Yes, hop out. Cool. All right, Morales, what are you going to go do while I'm doing this? While I'm doing the work, you're going to go what? You're going to hang out in the car. You're not even going to get out. You're not going to say anything. Okay. This is spooky. That's Leon's girlfriend, Demi Bones. The embalming machine is a kind of mechanical vampire. Out with the old and with the new. The side of cold stainless steel autopsy. Okay. Aha. There's a large middle envelope on the counter. Let's go see what's in it. Um. Inside the envelope, you find a cult ring, a cult book, Marie's locket. You remove these and discard the envelope. Okay. A cult book. Marie's locket. A cult ring. Um. Okay. You'd rather not look at the chart on the wall. You've seen enough of that stuff. Okay. A number of cruel looking stainless steel instruments on a towel on the counter. Can I go, like, open these? The drawers store bodies. You wonder if there's anyone you know in there. That's a weird thought. Oh, God. What am I doing? Oh, you can. What the f- Steven Rockland. Underneath the name is a note. Bonds. Caught you peeking. Stepped out for a bite. Be back soon, Leon. <laughs> Good one. All right. So I just have to wait, I guess, for Leon. There we go. Well, if it isn't Sergeant B, I had a hunch you might- you might find this amusing. I found it on your dead suspect. Looks like you have a fan. Oh no, I'm a target. Is that me? With a sinking feeling, you recognize an old news article covering your promotion. A red marking pen pentagram mars your photograph. Excuse me. 
I wouldn't worry about it, Bonds. You look good in red. Not to worry. I've got a positive ID. On your stiff name, Stephen Rockland. Last known address is 500 West. Ah, what was it? I'll have to cheat and find that out. 500 West. Hey, drop off for some lunch sometime. I'll slice up some fresh, fresh, blah, blah, fresh, fresh pastrami. I can't say the word fresh. It's 500 West Peach. Okay, so. Wow, that is creepy. Let's leave. Maybe it'll tell us too when we get in the car. Maybe I didn't need to take a peek and see. You decide to drive to the hospital to check up on Marie. Okay, I guess I don't get to pick where I'm going. That's fine. Auto drive is perfectly okay with me. Oh, Morales. Go make your phone call, do whatever. Just. Yeah, okay. Go upstairs and see what Marie's up to. I bet she's laying in bed. Not awake. What are the odds? We'll talk to her and give her a kiss as usual. I don't think there's anything I need to do in here. No chart. Uh, you talk gently to your wife, hoping that some part of her hears you. No, I wish I could play that. I swear I should be able to play that. Softly kiss your, your wife, her eyelids flicker in response. Okay. Let's leave and see what happens if we... The car radio interrupts the silence. Dispatch, attention all units. There is a structure fire at 500 West Beach. That's... That guy's address. Uh, any units in the vicinity, please respond for crowd control assistance. Morales, or Morales, hey, that's just a few blocks from here. Let's go roast, let's go to the weenie, weenie roast. God, I can't talk. Morales gets on the radio and informs dispatch you are on the way. Dang it. I gotta drive again. All right, so 500 west, which is here. And then Rose, which is, where are we? Here. So up, make a left on 500. Fig. Oh, wait, we're going, whoa, 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 whoa. We're, all right. I thought we were going a different direction. We need to go left. And before I forget, We'll save. Okay. And we'll go left on 5th. Wait, what? Am I going- wait, what? Where are we going? 500 West... Rose... Should be here. Somewhere up here? I might have to jump out again. This road systems are weird. Okay, Peach. Um, Rose should be next. So we're on 500 West right now. No, we're on first. 500 West is going east west, so I need to go uh, probably right on the rose and then stop immediately. Right here. Let's see if this works. There's no reason. Oh, Christ, why? Why, 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 why? Stop ahead. Um, I mean, we'll try coming from this direction. No, I'm gonna jump out and see if we we'll make sure we're going the right way. 
Okay, it's 500 West Peach, not Rose. I don't know why I had Rose stuck in my head, but now I'm going the wrong direction. Cool. Okay, we'll go left on Lily. Um, we'll go left on first. And then we'll cross over Rose, and then we'll cross over Peach, and then stop right there. Or maybe we'll stop before, right before Peach, and then get out, see if we can. Okay, we'll try it here. Uh, not in the middle of an intersection, but okay. Oh my god, I really hate the road system and they- there's- <sighs> Fuck! Okay, so we're- Should be Peach. No, it's Fig. Okay, Peach is the next one. That's right, because we missed a turn. Because this game is stupid like that. Okay, here's Peach. Alright, so this road that we're on right here, according to the map, is 400 west. And 500 is the next intersection, so I don't know if we stopped before that or, or what, but... can't leave your car in the middle of it. I'm not in an intersection, though. What are you talking about? Good lord. Okay. Ridiculous. So dumb. I'll go take care of some of the gawkers across the street, Sonny. I knew you would. Um. Save again? Did it save? What is going on with this? Okay, it did. Let's replace it anyway. But no, 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 no. Oh, why did it do that? Alright, let's talk to these guys, I guess. It looks like they put the fire out. What, uh, what appears to have started the fire? Looks like arson to me. She went up awful fast. You have any idea who might have started it? How would they know? It's under investigation. You can go in if you'd like. You think the fire chief? And let him get back to work. <coughs> Excuse me. Get our thing out of the trunk. Let's speed up the game again. Uh, we'll take all, oh, all of this crap. No, I don't need the camera. Okay. Uh, should we talk to this guy and see what he has to say? Hey, we're off call as soon as we're done here. He wants to grab a beer with, down at Johnny's. Alright. Come on, Sonny. Walk a little faster than that. Okay. Uh, what's that? Something, just something that was melted by the intensity of the fire. A sofa cushion on the floor, okay. The ugly old couch is soaked and smoldering. The smell of burnt upholstery stings your nose. What's that on the wall? The hallway leads off to what's left. Okay, the walls are marred by fire. The carpet was melted into a molten, molten polyester mess. Um, okay. Keep clicking. Maybe go to the living room? Wait, you notice what? You notice something shiny sticking out from under the mount. Okay. Um. Let's collect it. Go touch it. It looks like a photograph. You pick it up. Jesse and Michael. Takes you a moment to realize what you're seeing. You feel goosebumps crawl up your back. Is that Jesse Baines? 
The man on the left is none other than your one-time arch nemesis, Jesse Baines. You killed him in the in the second one. You arrested him in the first police quest. Wow, the man on the right bears a striking resemblance to him. Oh no, it's his brother Michael Baines. You don't believe this. The Baines brothers, Michael and Jesse. Well, that explains a lot. Um all right, so, Oh, that's I thought that was a post. That's a hallway. That makes more sense now. Okay, let's walk down there. God, I'm seeing things. Okay, a, a pentagram. The pentagram has been carefully painted on the wooden floor with red paint. As you study the floor with the altar, you notice a dried puddle of blood and hair. It appears to be the remains of some sick sacrificial ritual. Your stomach turns. Uh, can we collect with this? No, we sure can't. Can we collect with this? Nope. We sure can't do that either. What about with our hands? Even the idea of touching the sicko stuff is disgusting to you. Um, we can't take a picture though either. Um, scraper? Scraper it is. Uh, I guess that makes sense. You carefully scrape some of the dried blood and hair and put them, or you carefully scrape off some of the dried blood and hair, put them in an envelope. All right, um... God, I guess we go back out. Nope, nope, yep. I think I did that right. Leave. There we go. Okay. All the way. How do I get out of here? There we go. Jeez. Our car is gone. And there it is. Let's put away all our, all our stuff in our kit. Is that the siren that we're hearing right now? Okay, um, bags. Scraper. Toothpicks. Close, close. Um. The fire chief is focused on his men. He doesn't seem to notice you. Okay, let's, let's drive. You notice Morales checking her watch. She suddenly says, Oh, yo, Sonny, drive me over to the mall real quick, would you? Okay. Okay, let's go. Oh, that's right. I remember what I have to do here. I won't say anything, but sit tight, boss. Only be a minute. Okay, cool. Uh, you notice that she's careful to take her purse with her? Yeah, she's, uh, she's snorting cocaine or something. We go to the army recruiter. I like how everything happens in this one parking lot. This is a very popular section of Lytton. Good day, sir. Good day. You look like a man in need of a career. Yeah, I'm like 45 years old. You made an excellent choice. The army's the only life for a man. Um, no, not, not here for that. Who's that walking behind us? Go ahead and flash him our ID. Show the recruiting officer your, your badge and identify yourself. He looks closely at your credentials, making sure they're legitimate. When he looks up, he seems more cooperative. Uh, uh, yes, sir, Sergeant. And what can I do for you today? We have to show him the picture of this, uh, the Baines brothers. Show the photograph of Jesse and Michael Baines to the recruiting officer. Can you give, it, give me, give me an, any information on this man? His name is Michael Baines. He should have a military record. Let me see here, Sergeant. <laughs> okay. Aha, or ah. Here we go, Michael Baines, let me get you a printout. There you are, Sergeant, hope it helps. Go pick that up. Uh, okay, you take the printout to, uh, of Michael Baines' military record. Browsing through Michael Baines' military record, you come across the following information. Career gunnery sergeant in the army, interesting. That's not a rank in the army. Exemplary record, bearing in behavior, beyond reproach. Uh, behavior alteration noticed following brother's death, Jesse Baines. 
at the hands of the police, admitted to military psych- psychiatric facility following a particularly violent outburst. Two injured returned to active duty, but began displaying more violent antisocial behavior behavior patterns. Unprovoked physical attacks reported. Uh, medical discharge from the army for profession or psychological instability. Cannot read at all. I think it's something about this font in this game. It's just, it's weird. It's like blocky. It's really weird to read. Serving you is a pleasure, sir. Don't forget the U.S. Army if you ever need a change of careers. I'm a little old, but uh, okay. All right, back to the car. And we'll head to, I think we go back to the police station. Nothing further to do. Oh, okay. Awesome. That's fine with me. I will go upstairs as usual, and she's gonna go off and snort her cocaine. We'll go inside. Actually... Save. Then we'll go inside. Now we're ready. Head inside our office, see if there's anything in there we need to do. Okay, nothing on the desk. Let's see. Bonds, the coroner called and said he has something important for you. Something we found on the fatal crash victim. Okay, no. I already saw him. Okay, weird. <laughs> what? I think I need to go to talk to the psychologist, actually. I know there's a time when I'm supposed to talk to him. I think it's a him. And this, I'm, the game should be over soon, so... Let's see if, yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, excuse me, Dr. Ames. I'm tracking a suspected serial killer. Think you can help me out by putting together a psychological profile on him? Where's your documentation? I can't diagnose thin air. Oh... Was that it? Yep, that's the one. You hand the military record to the doctor. Lovely. I get appeared into the mind of yet another scumbag. The doctor reads me, uh, Bane's military record. Then goes into his analysis pose. Rather interesting, actually. He briefs you on the character of Michael Baines. This guy's not your average scumbag. He's closer to slit his own mother's throat variety. Oh. Uh, I'd know more if I'd examined him, but based on this, I'd say he's a schizophrenic psychopath. Wow. This guy's criminally insane, Bonds. I'd be careful how I approached him. I said keep your hands off, Sergeant. Are you deaf? Uh, no, you didn't, but okay. All right, we'll go turn in the evidence and then see where we go from there, I guess. It's a weird, there's like a speed bump right there and he hits his head on the ceiling. Round four, please. All right, evidence. Um, what do we book out of this? What is that? The news article. Okay, that. Colt ring. Colt book. A sample envelope with blood and hair. Samples in it. Marie's locket. You shudder again as you look at the photograph of Jesse Michael Baines. Okay. Okay. 
His address is 522 Palm. You can see it right there. That's right. I remember. Okay, wait. Five. I'm going to write that down. 522 Palm. But I can't remember if it's east, west. I think it's west. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and enter this. What case number? Uh, the dent case. One, nine, nine, one, four, five. Name, Andrew Dent. Unknown, oh. What? Did I not put it in the right? One, nine, nine, one, four, five? Burned out house, 500 block of West Peach. And disposition. Analyze for DNA profile. Okay. Weird. Um, cult book? What's the case number, Sonny? Do I put this under Marie's? Probably. One, nine, nine, one, four, four. Name? Marie Bonds. Description of evidence. Cult book. Location found on the body of murder suspect Steve Rockland. And disposition. Secure as evidence. Okay. Get her ring. What's the case number, Sonny? One nine nine one four four. Name Marie Bonds. Description of evidence: insignia ring. I must have put the first one, first first piece of evidence in under the wrong number. Weird. All right, secure as evidence, and then finally the locket. Nope. Oh. The locket. The locket. Evidence doesn't want that. Ah, uh, do they? What about this? Evidence doesn't want that either. Okay, so this. What's the case number, Sonny? Uh, one, nine, nine, one. I guess we'll put it under four, four. Name, Marie Bonds. Description of evidence, personal photo. Location found, burned out house, 500 block West Peach. And disposition, secure as evidence. Yeah, we must have. I must have put that in, the first one in wrong. Interesting, that sucks. All right, let's get out of here. Now let's see if we get any prompts to go anywhere. We hop in the car. And here comes good old Morales. Seventeen, eighteen. All right, we'll try to go to five two two West Palm, but I'm gonna have to stop. Turn this on. All right, five two two West Palm is Palm is up here. Five two two West would put it over here. So we're going this way. So we'll go right. And then right again. And we'll save because it's been a while. Peach. Okay, we'll go all the way up. There should be a stop sign up here. Look how none of these intersect intersections have any kind of like, signals at all. No stop signs, no uh, stop lights, no yield, no nothing. It's just kind of a free... For okay, stop ahead. Stop. Make that left. All right, and then we want to go to... Let's stop real quick. Um, so this is 500, so 522 is just, just over that road. Okay, fourth. Should be first street. Third. Second. Okay, so as soon as we get over here. First. Start slowing down. Okay, let's stop right here. 
Oh, yes. Here it is. Uh, let's save this one more time, because I have a bad feeling uh, something's going to happen here that might kill me. <laughs> I'll wait for you, Sunny. What? Oh, my God. Okay. Um... Let's knock on the door, see what's up. You can hear any movement inside the house, but no one answers. Okay. The old car reminds you of the car... of the car you had while you were in college, except this one is in better condition. Yikes. The front door is made of steel. It'd look more at home on a military installation than this rundown shack. The windows have been partially boarded underneath. Uh, you can, the boards you can see, oh, underneath the boards you can see thick metal bars. You've got more, okay, um, how about up here? Oh! What? Looks like not all of the house was fortified. Okay. <laughs> what the hell was that? These games. Okay, so I'm supposed to knock on the door. I need a warrant. That's what I'm missing. So... Uh, can I radio? No. Okay, I need to go to the court. Awesome. Oh, which way am I traveling? West on Palm, of course, because it's the wrong direction. Stop ahead, yep. Go left up here. Oh no! Oh god, we made it. Thank god. Okay. And we'll go all the way over to 8th Street. We're going... Oh, we're gonna go code too, because I don't have the patience to wait. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. There we go. Seven, and then we'll slow down for eight. We'll make a right. We'll go under the freeway, and as soon as we come out from under the freeway, the court should be up um, on, I think, the left side. I, we can't turn in, though, so it doesn't matter. Cross fig. Oh, that's the corner. Oh, the court's up one. My bad. All right, cross over Peach, and then the court is up here. There we go. I have to go talk to the judge, apparently. Okay, yep, you'll wait in the car. Cool. Deathly quiet. There's no music playing right now. Okay, you request to, you request to see Judge Simpson in her chambers. Okay, so I had to do some janky nonsense. I had to download a saved game and uh, upload it or uh, save it to my directory and then launch it from her office, the judge's office, because she was frozen on giving me a warrant. I tried showing her all kinds of evidence and it just eventually would lock up and freeze. So now I have the, I have the warrant. Um, I'm pretty sure I have the warrant. What is this? Um, let's see how this works. So we'll hand her this first. I've already shown him. Okay, what else have I? Oh, I have the warrant. Your search warrant. Okay, so I'm good. I have it. 
Come on, want. All right, let's leave. Uh, I so the points are irrelevant at this point in the story, which is fine. I missed a bunch anyway. So now we're headed back to um, five two two West Peach. Let me get. Oh, let me get my map back up. Northbound on the eight. So we'll go, we're gonna go code again. We'll go back to 522 West Peach. Past the corner. Okay, Oak, now we should be coming up on Palm. I'm on the wrong side of the road. Stop. Make a right hand or left hand turn. Go 100,000 miles an hour. I'm sick of driving back and forth. So that's why I'm in a hurry. All right. So we're going to be there soon. Okay, first street. So as soon as we cross over, slam on the brakes. Get out. 1729. Uh, I got the back, Sonny. Keep your head down. Okay, we're gonna save. You can see all of our new non-legit saves here, which is awesome. So this will now be save. Oh, okay. Save number one. Save. Morales is gonna prance off with her purse. I'm sure she'd make excellent backup in a situation like this. Let's go ahead and knock on the door. Obviously, there is somebody home. You'll have to find a, some other way to serve that search warrant. Oh, okay. Um, open up, please. Okay. So I read ahead. <laughs> you have to go back to the court to get a judicial order so we can break the door down. This is so stupid. Oh my god, I gotta go all the way back. Oh god. Why? This is this driving mechanic is not it's not fun at all. I just don't know who wrote this game and thought, yeah, you know, let's uh let's make this a thing. Driving back and forth nonstop. Maybe if it was fun, but it's not. All right, left on Oak. Now we're gonna go 100 miles an hour till we get to Eighth Street, which first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, which is right here. So we're getting closer. All right, let's slam on those brakes. Yo, okay, Eighth Street. Turn right. We'll pass the coroner's office. All right, here's the corner, and then the judge is up here, or the courthouse is up here. Uh, let's cross over. All right, slam on the brakes. And we'll get out. Uh, wait for you in the car, yep. Head inside. Yeah, you request, you request to see Judge Simpson in her chambers. Judge Simpson, jub, la, 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 la. Judge Simpson looks up as soon as you come into her chambers. I see you're back. Did you have a problem with the warrant? Uh, no, not the warrant. Just gaining entry. The place is fortified. There's only one way to get into that house. I'm requesting a special order to use the department's RAM unit. 
The judge studies you closely, then says, I see. All right, officer. I trust your judgment. Oh, wow. All right. Just make sure you have plenty of backup. That I can do. All right, you pick up the judicial, judicial order. And now we have to make our way back to that house. Oh, good lord. All right, start the car. We're going code. We're going southbound. Okay, let's turn on this. Okay, we need to make a right on rows. And then a right on, was it seventh? Okay, now we can go fast, get up to Palm. Peach, what's next? Oak. Fig, then Oak. Am I making streets up in my head? Okay, there's Oak. Okay, let's slow down because there's a stop sign. Okay, make a left. Now we can go code three at 100 miles an hour. Uh, let's save, save game number two. All right. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Time to start slowing down. All right, as soon as we cross over here, we can slam on the brakes and we should be there. Okay, let's uh, climb out. Oh, back up is here. There's the ram, hills to the, yeah, okay. Thanks to Judge, oh, we're, thanks to Judge, Judge Simpson, the ram is in place and ready to go. Super loud, don't need it that loud. Uh, I got the back, Sonny, keep your head down. Thanks, Morales. Um, uh, we should probably... Yes! Wait till I'm in position, then take out the door. Okay, here we go. Let's save it real quick again, so I don't have to do that all over again. Because I have a feeling there's going to be shooting involved, and I'm not sure how this works here, so... Oh, wow. Good job. Oh. Fire! Got him. Freeze! Don't shoot, I give up. Don't do anything stupid. Um. Okay, I'm taking a chance here. You're, you're under arrest. Oh God, look at that walk. Whoa, look at that walk. You feel a sense of satisfaction as you slip the cuffs on the wrist of Michael Baines. That he gave up that easily. Not very badass at all. And then who's this guy strolling in? Where were you? I'll take it from here, Sonny. Okay. Let's go check out this guy's... This guy's body. The man you shot is dead. Yeah, I know. There's nothing of interest on him. Oh. There's nothing under that cushion. You're allegedly... You're in the alleged crack house. You don't have time for that now. How about we turn it off? Uh, you examine the TV, but find nothing unusual. I know there's a way to... Aha! You look underneath the filthy cushion and find the remote control. Alright, turn off the TV. Power. Okay. Alright, I, I cheated. You have to press number 8. It opens up a secret passage. Um... Should definitely take our gun out. Oh, and walk in there. Oh, let's save. Oh, please don't kill me till I have a chance to shoot back. Ah, ah, there we go. Um. Do we keep moving? Um, what's back there? Nothing? What is happening? Uh, 
Okay, there's supposed to be a guy, I just read. From the he enters from the left side of the screen. Um Oh shoot! Okay. Nonsense. Pure nonsense. God damn it. I just had to sit and wait for him, I guess. Alright, we're gonna sit and wait. Um, this is completely unnecessary to wait this long. Okay. The table's covered with, uh, with various tools, various maybe, to make drugs. All right, come on, guy. Barrels contain chemicals to make drugs, yep. Dude, seriously, what is this nonsense? Is it- this is another bug, I'm gonna just give up. Save it again. Okay, so maybe I'll try to walk up. Maybe I'll walk over here, walk up, get my aimer out. So stupid. Game is ridiculous sometimes. All right, walk up here. Got him. Okay, that's what you have to do. Stupid. Hey, he shot him. Hold on while I check his vital signs. Okay. She's walking over with her purse. God. Morales, you are a lazy, terrible cop. Oh, no. I like to say it was fun, Bonds, but you've been a real pain in my ass. Oh. I'm Detective Hooks, Internal Affairs. We've been keeping an eye on her since... Okay, congratulations. You not only solved your murder case, but you've also found an incapacitated and dangerous cult. An incapacitated and dangerous cult that was processing crack. Now all that's left... To fight is the paperwork. You're almost welcome the routine of it all. You almost welcome the routine of it all. There is such a thing... There is such a thing as too much excitement. Okie dokie. What are we doing? Oh, there we go. The Litton General Hospital. But for now, let the cleanup crew do their job and the guilty sleep their dreamless sleep. For you, there's suddenly nothing more important than seeing Marie. Oh, I don't think I'll ever be able to look at you again without feeling what I feel right now. Without remembering what a miracle it is just to hold you. Speaking of miracles, Dr. Powers had just has just given me a bit of news. Okay. Oh, Sonny. You're pregnant. We're gonna have a baby. Knew it. Oh. <laughs> what is that smile? What was that? A, a, a baby? Oh. LPD recently reviewed the top secret list of names and occupations of the members of an alleged electronic terrorist group. The gang leader, one Jim Pretty Boy Walls, has been known to threaten to shape Linton's future like so much silly putty. It is not known at this time if the gang's intentions are for good or evil, or if they should even be taken seriously. Nevertheless, be on the lookout for the following gang members. Oh, this is a joke. Okay, well, that will do it for Police Quest 3. Um, and that's the end of the story for Sonny and Marie. Police Quest 4 is actually a different cop, and it takes place in Los Angeles, not the makeup made-up town of, um, Lytton. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in Police Quest 4.